The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, way. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, back again, is none other than a great group of comedians. First, he is the 2021 funniest person in Wichita, Kansas, the wreck himself, Mr. Derek Alders. There you go, buddy. That's about right. That's how I feel. That's how excited I am to be here today. I know. I know. But what did he do in 2022? <laughs> Nothing. That's Not a right. fucking, fucking thing. <laughs> I celebrated. It was the hangover. <laughs> <laughs> nice. He just like rested the, on his laurels. It's like the year after the Cubs won the World Series. Right. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what I did. And he is back. The 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. <laughs> yeah. I'm offended at the fact you referred to the two of us as a group. Uh, <laughs> well. No, this is the original cast, man. This is the OGs. Oh, are you including yourself in that group? I would really hope so. Fuck, Yeah, dude. that's kind of the, you know, the thing that I guess I get credit for. Every I, golfer needs a caddy, I guess. That's right. That's right. And by that, I mean a Cadillac. Yeah. Uh, but I just wanted to point out that I was able Especially to... Especially Tiger Woods. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he goes through them pretty quick. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I know of at least two he's trashed. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Well, they're Buicks. Was it Buick? Yeah, I think it was Buick. I'd like to think it was. <laughs> okay. He was he was the spokesperson. I thought for the Buick. one was an Escalade when his wife smashed it with a fucking golf club. Oh, it could have been. That sounds about right. I don't know, but he's a dangerous driver. <laughs> he sure is. <laughs> he really is. He should really take some defensive driving he should. courses. Yeah, you, yeah, probably. You uh, block with the left, you steer <laughs> with the right. That's right. <laughs> uh, but anyways, welcome into another great episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. If this is the first time you've listened to one of these shows, you're missing out on a lot of shit. But this is a comedy podcast where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. In fact, they're all targeted towards me and that's fine uh but this is also an adult podcast we like to get to, closer okay uh it's I i'm gonna adjust everybody i'm not trying to derail everything or anything or be a distraction i just needed to scoot in closer to the table proceed scott you try Perfect. and put your arm around me i'm gonna freak out <laughs> block with the left <laughs> steer with the right that's but anyways, this is also an adult podcast where you like to use foul language and uh, offend a lot of fucking people. So if you don't like that thing, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you and bye. But we have an excellent episode this week. We got some current events, uh, sports related that we're going to talk about. Uh, we got overrated, underrated, a new segment called Yeah, I'm That Guy and Fuck That Guy. You guys are going to have uh, your first experience with this one. And uh, questions for Guntas, as always. Have you ran that by other guys? Is that what you're saying? Mm-hmm. It was, like, it was, this is going to be a first for us, but like you've been doing this for a while. It, a little bit, Okay, yeah. so when you say you are that guy, does that mean you're the one getting fucked? <laughs> kind of, sort of. Or you can choose to fuck that guy. You could, if you really wanted to. JP elected to do that quite often, actually, during that segment. It's JP was actually... he talked to me the other day and he was commenting how ridiculously gay you are (laughs) that's uh (laughs) he's like i like scotty and all but he puts off a little (laughs) shot off the door did he i mean seriously it's i mean can he tone it down with the gay test a little bit all right uh, but anyways, we do have a what's in the box this week. Uh, we'll end uh, off like we always do with the draft and another shitty situation. So, uh, yeah, great episode. But before we do all of that, we're going to talk about our week, week recap, which pretty much revolves around one thing, I think, for the most part. Am I right? Yeah. Good going, guys. Way, way to you know be on top of things. Really appreciate it. Thanks I'm going to go ahead and give my answer now. Fuck that guy. Okay. <laughs> uh, but no, all of us, uh, if you haven't been looking at our YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, all of the shits, uh, there are a couple of videos out promoting a particular event that we were all three a part of. 
Um, and that would be the ceremonial first pitch at Riverfront Stadium in Wichita, Kansas on Friday night. And uh, it was uh, it was a great experience, I think, for all three of us. Can I say that? Ceremony seems like a really strong word, doesn't it? <laughs> it kind of does. It was there. There were no tribal peoples of any kind. <laughs> there were tens of there fans were no in the candles. Stands. <laughs> I sacrificed a chicken up in the booth. <laughs> did you really? Yes, yeah. I did. Nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, but no, was it, it that fucking rooster that was running around at the lake that one weekend? No, it was not. <laughs> oh, he actually sacrificed a child. <laughs> oh, okay. All yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. Boy, this was way more of a ceremony than than what I thought. I didn't take yeah. this near serious enough <laughs> <laughs> but we all kind of had our own spots to play in it i guess uh, i mean i was the one running the camera uh-huh uh, for the majority of it i, I do just have, like in all the sex tapes you make 100 mm-hmm. percent. and i and if i may say so i did a pretty damn good job like i do in all of the other porno movies getting you the right you know angles and stuff like that you get, you get too much <laughs> yeah you get too much of my butthole in those oh, is, things. That, is that right well, I'm just going to say, uh, I've seen the video, and the footage of me walking down the hallway, Yeah, uh, could you have shot a less flattering fucking angle of me? Could have got your face. I don't think that could have been that much worse. Uh, basically, it makes my ass look a mile wide, and it makes it look like I'm holding my dick the whole time. You were. Yeah, probably. I mean, it, you're hard when you're walking out onto a field, right? I'm hard all the time, Scotty. Okay. <laughs> I'm on a steady diet of Viagra. Yeah. And, you know, I watch a lot of porn. Okay. Yeah. But no, That's I don't good. know why the one arm was swinging casually and my other hand was in front of me. <laughs> but I appreciated that you got like a full minute of just my <laughs> moneymaker right there. Happy to do it, man. Oh, Jesus Happy to do it. But, Christ. But before that was the was the 1984 T-ball video that you and I shot. Yeah. There is about 15 minutes of, of footage that I still have of us doing that interview. Uh-huh. But I think I picked the best parts of it. If you say so. I think it was all the best parts, but... <laughs> it's probably true. You know, I... Um, <laughs> I'm satisfied with what you did on that. Yeah. I'm not really satisfied with that hallway business. Okay, fine. Corridor. I'm going to call it a corridor. But it was hilarious because we ended up going to a, a park afterwards. We obviously did the interview bits and stuff like that, but we went to a park and we played catch for a good 30 That's minutes. why my hand was on my dick. That's there was right. All the kids around. <laughs> that's that's and very, ducks. very brave of you to do that. Because, like, uh-huh. Scotty, you could have got arrested. You're not supposed to be within a certain <laughs> amount of feet from a park or a school. There was nobody there. It was just us two. I still so. think that's a And that's rule. for his own safety, too. He will get molested by children. <laughs> <laughs> Something about Scotty makes kids want to push him down and rape him. <laughs> it's my, hard. It's hard. My, it's my height, Jeremy. I mean, these it sweet little kids are like, fuck that guy. <laughs> and that's why the segment. It's fuck, fuck, goose. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Um, <laughs> and and he means that literally. Uh-huh. Fuck Scotty twice, and they throw bread to one of the geese yeah. out there, and then and then the geese fucks. Yeah, him. fine. And then they run around a circle and fuck him again. <laughs> right. Uh, but no, we played catch for probably a good thirty five minutes, and I gotta say, dude, you've got a pretty damn good arm. It's very accurate. I, I, if I remember correctly, I played college baseball, and I overthrew you m- like three or four times. You hit your spot. Uh, yeah. Uh, what the fuck happened? I, uh, <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get yeah, to that we'll, part. We'll get to that part. Um, um, but I was impressed. Uh, I thought, especially after all the weight that you've lost and all of the other stuff, you I, looked pretty fucking nimble. I mean, you I, were light on your feet, man. I will I will break down what exactly happened. Okay, that's on fine. The pitch. That's fine. So we get that all wrapped up. I spend a lot of time trying. And by to, the way, yes, yeah. I you missed the part where I was doing back handsprings and shit. I, I know. I know. I felt I a know. little. I don't know why you didn't add that part. Because I don't think anybody would believe it, Jeremy. It, it was if I should. I should have got it on video is what I should have did. Yeah. But yeah, we got to keep I guess that that's a secret. True. I mean, people think the moon's round. Right. <laughs> right. Or that it exists. Uh-huh. I think if they saw Jeremy doing backflips and, and handsprings and shit like that, they would uh, probably want him for like the CIA or FBI or anything like that. So I think it's good. We just you think like, that would make me a good spy. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that's um, that's actually springs. criteria for law enforcement now. That's right. Is that uh, can you do handsprings? <laughs> <laughs> Not his knowledge of, you know, law and release procedure and what his temperament is. Can he do back sprint back handsprings? Yeah. Uh, well, Beverly Hills Ninja, man. I think you would be just like the Midwest Ninja. I think. He wasn't a cop. I know he wasn't. In any fashion, he didn't work for the government at all. He stopped crime, though. Did he? <laughs> I mean, 
<laughs> did he? Because I think it was the badass from Mortal Kombat who actually did most of the crime stopping in that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but no, I had a lot of fun putting that video together. Uh, the, the Did you notice that down here in the studio, the American flag that's just, you know, laying down over there? So that Yeah, little, I saluted it when I came in like I a know. fucking American, like a patriot. That's right. Uh, that, that little spot of the American flag waving in slow motion is actually filmed down here of me just waving the flag like this. <laughs> just to make it, you know, put in there. But uh, I thought it was, it sufficed, right? Sure, because you can't go just anywhere and find an American flag. <laughs> they're, they're rare to see one blowing in the wind around here. <laughs> that was at 2 o'clock in the morning one night, and like I wanted to that, get it done. At that fucking park we were at. Yeah, <laughs> right. you couldn't have gotten one there. No, it couldn't have. Uh, but no, it was a lot of fun putting that together. And then we had, uh, leading up to it, we finally had the day. We got the confirmation. By the way, it was shit all day. Yeah. It rained. Yep. All day long, overcast. We we were doubtful that the game was actually going to go on. So but the baseball gods wanted Jeremy to throw that pitch. They really did. They really you think did. that's what he wanted. Yeah, I think so. I think so. That was okay. the the culmination of everything that happened. We get there. We were told to be there at five o'clock. <laughs> The gates opened up at six. Yeah. So we are just sitting outside the gate for an hour. Yeah. Apparently, Bob <laughs> tells people that because I guess 99% of the people are way late. I guess. So he tells them five, so they'll be there at six. Uh, that ain't me. <laughs> no. You tell me to be somewhere at 5.15, I'm getting there at 5.10. Uh -huh. And I was and stood out front like the most dedicated wind surge fan <laughs> in history. <laughs> Let us in! <laughs> and we had to watch Derek get in through the sideway so he could go up to the press box, isn't it? Didn't you do that? Well, me and my wife oh, okay. saw him, and he was going to let us in, and then he had apparently I, to work. I, yeah. I, I don't know. <laughs> I couldn't get into the – I was going to let you into the team store, but I couldn't get into the team store. Oh. Because well. you're not a team player. That's right. That's right. Absolutely. You try and spell it with an I. I yeah. put the I in team. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, but we there is an M and an E in there, so yeah. Yeah. There sure is. Yeah, so uh, I guess uh, I guess I'll kick it over to you, Jeremy. As far as uh, your experience after the gates open, we go through security. Uh, they pat us down to make sure we're not carrying any metal objects, except uh, for me. I got to let in my little camera stand thing that I carried around. Uh, but we get in there, and we now have forty-five minutes to practically kill. Go to guest services and uh, go from there. Okay, you want me to go? Yeah. You don't want me to talk about the other shit in my week. Or are I mean, we going to come back around to that? We're going to come back okay, around to that. Okay, because I got some other shit okay. that I, I do want to discuss. For sure. Absolutely. Uh, okay, we'll just talk about that day. Um, yeah, we get to the guest services. Uh, we ask the two guys behind there, or we tell them who I am, like they don't fucking know. <laughs> and then... Um, Sign some autographs. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The, I mean, they're like, we didn't want these. Oh, you didn't have to ask. Hey, <laughs> we, we know. We know. <laughs> and... Uh, so uh, they're like, yeah, the guy uh, for the first pitch will be down here soon. To which the guy who's standing right there at the counter goes, I'm the first pitch guy. <laughs> yeah. So it's really nice to know that people there knew what was going on. That sounds about and, right. <laughs> and so they uh, – and, and here's, here's one of these things that I compare this to, like, when my son was born. <laughs> like, it was – for me, it was the biggest thing in my world. I've never been through this process and any of that. But – like for the doctor, he does this shit several times a day, every day. So he's almost bored with it. And so, yeah, while I'm like nervous and ready to jump out of my skin, all the people working there are like, yeah, we do this every fucking day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're throwing a ball, dickhead. Right. Um, so anyways, uh, you know, throughout this whole thing, I've been kind of feeling somewhat guilty about doing this. Uh, our good friend, Bob Mulet is who we set this up through. Yeah, uh, Bob is the general manager of the Wichita Wind Surge. He's been on the show a few times. Mm -hmm. uh, great guy. Um, takes his job pretty seriously. Mm -hmm. uh, for for those who don't really know or understand, like the Minnesota Twins are responsible for the product on the field. Bob is kind of responsible for the show and the spectacle that surrounds all that, and for getting the people to the stadium uh, and. Bob, while Bob loves his job, Bob wants to make it as good of a, a stadium experience mm -hmm. for everybody. And he's, you know, it's obviously he doesn't do everything there, but it's his job to make sure that the right people are 
overseeing everything. And, and so part of that is, you know, getting people for the first pitch and there's, they get a lot of people who deserve to be honored and recognized. And then we're (laughs) doing this as a goof. And uh, I kind of felt bad that like, almost like we're mocking Bob and his job and what he did. (laughs) But Bob came down and couldn't have been nicer and made sure that everybody, including our wives were involved. They got to come down on the field with us. Um, Again, you shot that footage my ass <laughs> for, I'm going to say it, way too long. <laughs> well, uh, well so, give, some, give JP something to use Absolutely. For a while. Yeah. 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 Put yeah. in the old spank bag. Oh, there's there's plenty for him to use. <laughs> it looks real wide. Um, so anyhow, uh, we, I don't know, about 10 minutes before we're actually supposed to go down to the field, the, the guy who was supposed to take us down was going to do it in like 10 minutes. Bob's like, let's just go down there now. So we go with Bob and... Uh, he just kind of shows us around some stuff. And that place is a fucking labyrinth <laughs> yes. underneath there. Yeah, I had no is. idea what direction we were facing. And then just all of a sudden we're in one of the dugouts mm-hmm. and that was pretty cool. Yep. Uh, so anyhow, um, what happens next? We're, we're just dicking around. Yeah. We're sitting on the field. We're sitting around on the field and we're kind of guarding a, a, a bat award for the groundskeeper yeah. there. We're um, using my huge ass to block this award. <laughs> yeah. He actually, Jeremy actually keistered that award in. <laughs> I sure did. That's why it was brown. Yeah, that was, that's that why was they a were. maple bat to start with, and, that, and that, now it looks like walnut. That They actually weren't even zooming in on your ass. They were zooming uh-huh. in on the award down the hall. Yep. Yeah. And that's what it was. And, and uh, I just remember going all the way to the knob, fellas. And, uh, <laughs> got plenty of pine tar on there. You kept, you kept talking about the fucking grass while we were down there, of how beautiful that fucking thing Jesus is. Jesus Christ. Christ, that guy. <laughs> okay, that's what that award was for. Was yes. the the head groundskeeper there had won? Yep. What was it? Minor league. Uh, the Texas League. Texas League. Yep. Groundskeeper <clears throat> of the year and deservedly so. That stadium is beautiful and the the grounds. I mean, it it rivals any major league stadium for sure. In, as far as in the my field opinion, goes, yeah. yeah. Um, but so anyhow, we're hanging around and even, even Oakland. Even Oakland. <laughs> Boy, I don't know. I really do like those bullpens on the sidelines. <laughs> that, that's really classy, in my opinion. Yeah. I like to think so. Especially keep it old school. I, I really want to keep it old school where the thing is half football field most of the time. Uh, <laughs> so little Scott's turf killer. That'll that'll do it. <laughs> Jesus. Out of nowhere, my cousin Matt shows up. This is not yoga Matt. This is different Matt. Um, doormat who normally is in Kansas city. (laughs) Sure. Uh, he shows up. I was not expecting him to be there. He had been in Emporia for other reasons anyhow. And, and that's only like an hour and a half from here. So he decided to come on down and he also brought my parents and uncle. I was getting Uh, ready to say, I I don't want to interrupt, but I have to those people who don't know Jeremy very well, whenever he is getting ready to do something, any kind of a performance, including stand up comedy, there are two people that he would rather stay home more than anybody I, else. I don't know that I would. <laughs> Scotty well, especially and Scotty and me. Yeah. But it it just added a level of pressure to it that my parents were watching. Yeah. Uh, you know, my dad worked with me for years, literally. And, and by the way, everything in that video about my dad was, was bullshit. I have a wonderful <laughs> father who was incredibly kind and nurturing. Um, but so anyhow, I'm... You know, I talked to to my cousin for a while, and we're just standing around. Uh, there's supposed to be another guy. There's supposed to be two ceremonial first pitches, which yes. I don't know what, that they know what the meaning of first is. <laughs> they uh, don't. Uh, I had seven the other day. So. Yeah. yeah. Um, turns out that, uh, yeah, that's the reason why Bob has people come early, because this guy shows up at the last minute. Correct. And he's representing uh, a sporting goods store that's coming up here in town, uh, Shields. Yeah. I know Derek's talked about it before. Uh mm-hmm. Big fucking place, I've never big fucking deal. Been to one? Are they just sporting goods all around, or it's are got, they it has outdoors? A, it has it's got everything. Okay. It's got a Ferris wheel in the middle of the damn thing. It has. Well, uh, this one is not going to. I've been told correct. it has yeah. something different, but we're not allowed to say what. It has an so. aquarium as well. Um, but but it, then it's, it's sporting got, goods uh, shit. It's sporting goods. It, mm-hmm. They sell smokers. They sell. The there's people a or the women's devices? section. They sell everything. Yeah. But the mainly, whole, mainly sporting <clears throat> goods, and but so, like I said, they have a whole barbecue area. So those people out front smoking cigarettes, those are for sale. Yeah, uh-huh. those smokers. Oh yeah. damn! 
but the, I, but the I've whole, never even seen price tag. <clears throat> but the whole thing with this guy is we were obviously kind of wanting Jeremy to go second because he was kind of the crescendo. But what we didn't well, know was guys, the what was this guy yes. also was he, he a, sh- hold up. I oh, want to tell. Uh, okay, okay, go okay. ahead. Okay. So <clears throat> so coming into this, my plan was just to toss it down there. I mean, just not even really go into a wind up or anything, um, because I had thrown some you know not really warm up pitches because it was three hours earlier because I showed up so goddamn early and had to wait around. <laughs> so my arm had gone completely cold, but some practice throws, um, which might've been the saddest thing ever. <laughs> I bought a box of cheap balls, like six of them. And I'd set up a piece of plywood in the backyard and measured off 60 feet, six inches. <laughs> and it's, it's raining. And so if you were to look in my backyard, it's just me playing catch with nobody. <laughs> And you would think like, oh, he just lost his dad. It, you look like a special needs adult. It's it's like something out of a fucking foreign movie. Like it should be in black and white, and me just contemplating life. And oh boy, you would never guess that I'm just fucking doing this as a big ass prank in the fucking rain. <laughs> in the rain, yeah. Oh my so God. anyway, the reason. That I, I, okay, all right. So I, I'm doing that. And so when I get there, this other guy goes first. And I'm not worried about it because this guy is gawky looking. He's got glasses as thick as my thigh. <laughs> He's got a baseball glove, which I don't know if I was told not to bring my glove or if just in my head it's like, you don't need a glove. Nobody's throwing anything to you. <laughs> But it seemed like I wasn't supposed to bring it. I, I may be wrong about that, but I think that might have... It, it throws you off balance when you're throwing without a glove, <laughs> when you've been thrown with a glove. This guy brought a glove, but he put it on the wrong fucking hand. Uh, he's, he's a... You know, I prefer North Paws. Uh, this guy throws the wrong way. And um, so, yeah, I'm not worried about him going first. And then he goes up there, and as soon as he gets on the mound, it's clear... Oh shit! This guy's pitched before. <laughs> yeah, at, he's at, left-handed. At probably a, so. <laughs> at a fairly high level, uh, I'm guessing college. Uh, he did. He, a Division two college pitcher is what he was. Oh, okay. Um, he's 15 years younger than me, at least. At least. Maybe more than that. Half the ass. Uh, yeah. Oh, much better a, shape. A third of the ass. <laughs> 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 and so. Dude just fucking hums one right down the middle. <laughs> like, I, he probably wasn't going full out, nope. but the reason he was late is because he'd been practicing like in an indoor bullpen somewhere, <laughs> yeah. probably at Shields, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> like with somebody to throw the ball back to him, not just sad in the rain. <laughs> okay. And so he delivers this perfect strike. In fact, the guy who caught it, uh, made the comment afterwards to him. He's like, dude, you brought it. And yeah, I'd say it was probably close to 80 miles an hour. If had, I had to guess. He had 74 is what 74, the okay. scoreboard said. All right. They well, could have used that guy because they got shelled that game. Yeah, but yeah, well, no, they didn't. They just kept walking people. <laughs> they really didn't get shelled. It was 14 and, to yeah, 10. Yeah. I mean, it, it anyways, I'm going <laughs> to, we're not to that point yet. Yeah. So now I have this natural competitive streak in me. And by that, I mean that very literally. Like, I don't have to dominate and be the best, but I do have this natural desire to show that I at least belong. Mm -hmm. So, like, if we're opposing pitchers, like he's the young fireballer and I'm the crafty veteran, I got to put something on this to make it look (laughs) like I belong. On You can't have Grandpa coming up there fucking noodle arming it up there and, and just lobbing it down like he's playing slow pitch. So I'm like, fuck, I got to put something on this, which had... At that point, I immediately became worried because in the backyard, whenever I would try and throw hard, I was just sailing them. Yeah. I mean, like, I have a six-foot privacy fence probably 15 feet behind my plywood that I set up, and I threw it over that and the a neighbors couple of times into the neighbor's yard. were wondering what ha- the fuck was going on. I don't think they're home. They work, Scotty. Oh. Um, <laughs> they were actually playing catch with their kid. <laughs> That's what yeah, they <laughs> fucking bragging about it <laughs> they saw jeremy out in the back and they're like come on son get your glove we're going out front and his kid was humming him too <laughs> <laughs> throwing strikes so Ugh. my th- my thought is you know i aim low 
aim low. Which just like you do in life. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and anybody who's ever thrown a baseball knows that once you start trying to aim it, you're fucked. And that's something that I well knew and apparently in the heat of the moment forgot. And so uh, as long as it had been since I'd played baseball, it had been even longer since I threw off of a mound, which I had forgotten, like, as you step forward, it just naturally slopes your body downward. And so I'm already aiming low. And then with that, and not that I'm making excuses here, because <laughs> I, I botched it. That's, that's, that's the, the... You sound but, like LeBron James right now. But... The at that time of day, the sun is just peeking over the top. Yeah, it looked beautiful. And so, as I like tilted my head back to get into it, <laughs> the sun glints in my eyes, which is not so. I like flinch and close my eyes as I throw, which is why it went <laughs> offline. So, I'm aiming low anyway. And so, I like I say, it's not an excuse. I'm wearing polarized sunglasses. <laughs> the other guy had a set of binoculars on his face, and it didn't bother him at all. Uh, I heard one guy go, throw it. <laughs> Did they? I, no, I, 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 I didn't. Just, like right I as you're getting ready to release. Throw. So that distracted you. Yeah. 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 No, it, it, <laughs> it legitimately did. Like, I don't remember seeing the ball, I, but I knew as soon as I threw it, it was offline and it was going to come up short. Like I put enough on it to get it there. My trajectory was just off. But yeah, I bounced it to the fucking guy, and I feel horrible about it because uh, I, really I promised shouldn't. an orphanage full of kids that I was they were going to have their lives saved if I threw a strike, and uh, now they're all going to die. So um, <laughs> they already did. I, I know. I yeah. made sure of it. And wow. uh, actually, most of them killed themselves after watching your pitch. <laughs> oh God! Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Thank God the guy catching it was a <laughs> professional ball player and he snagged it because it went way to his left. Yes. <laughs> so, like I say, I'm not making excuses. It was still a great experience overall. I would do it again. Oh, yeah. Just to make up for it. Yeah. And um, we'll be back there in the 40s. Maybe you could. Uh, oh, I'm going to be way too busy. Oh, uh, okay. Damn Rumor it. has it that the uh, Pirates have booked me for the entire month of June to throw out the first pitch. <laughs> <laughs> now, I started that rumor. You should <laughs> know you? that, uh, but it's still a rumor. But the, but the whole thing that I really enjoyed the most, now granted, when you and I, because I had to be out there filming you from, from behind so you could you know have a good visual aid of what's going on, but the best part was when we were out on the field, we can't really hear the speakers because the speakers are pointed towards, towards the fans. So we didn't actually hear Derek announce very well because it's pointed towards the stands. Mm -hmm. But uh, go ahead and Derek, you uh, well, fill us and, in and on that's, that. That's the uh, other thing too. Yeah. They told me Derek what Derek was going to say, which is let's see that pitch or something like that. So I'm listening for that. And as soon as I get on the mound, it like <laughs> catches up to me the absolute ridiculousness of this. <laughs> so you, you'll see my face is <clears throat> down because I'm trying not to just crack up <laughs> laughing at what is happening right now. And as well, I'll let Derek say how he announced this, but uh the the lady sitting next to my parents who was a twins fan who came down from North Dakota Holy to see shit. this game. She like legitimately thought I was somebody until she went <laughs> she wound up winning or the fan of the game, by the way. And nice. So uh oh. yeah, anyways, um Derek, tell them how you announced. Oh, what I said at the end there? Just the whole thing. Uh, that, God, I can't remember the exact. Okay, script, well, he said so, celebrating, celebrating his the thirty ninth anniversary of his historic <laughs> unassisted triple play. Please welcome, yeah, the nineteen eighty four Kingman County T ball defensive player of the year award winner, Mister Jeremy Joseph. Show us where your keys at. <laughs> Which is an inside joke <laughs> between us, but because I'm so in my head, I'm still listening for the let's see that pitch. <laughs> I really didn't get what he was saying. And yeah, the sound is kind of muffled from out there. Yeah. But yeah, just everything about it. Like from the second I stepped on the mound, I should have called time, stepped off the mound and <laughs> gathered myself because I just didn't feel like myself. I should have I should have thrown left-handed like that other asshole did. <laughs> you got the fucking Shield Sizzler coming in, just fucking fireballing him in. Oh, and I'm shit. supposed to compete with that. Oh. Did they know why we said, why the, the show is for Did we talk about that on the show? I don't, I don't think so. I don't so. think so. I think that's totally off camera. Last year, was last year, Jeremy and I went to watch a game together, and we were just talking about ridiculous heckles. 
Oh. And uh, that have no, that make no fucking sense. And just to heckle the shit out of mm-hmm. people. And one of the ones we talked about was like, hey, number five, where are your keys at? <laughs> Where's your keys, number five? Where are your car keys? Where they at? <laughs> to where eventually this guy is going to be like, what the fuck? <laughs> He might text someone like, "Do you know where my keys are? Did I leave? Did I, did I leave the, they're in my locker, right?" He probably Do it so much these. that he gets the nickname of Car Keys, and and people are like, "Why do they call you Car Keys?" I don't know. I don't fucking know. So, so that is what I went with. I like as Jeremy's walking up, I'm like, I was gonna say like, put some stank on it or something. I was like, oh wait a minute, I'm gonna go with this. So I immediately put, "Show us where your keys at." And I think it threw you off a little bit. That and along with the sun, and it was, you know, it was... It was wet. Yeah. Yeah, all that stuff. And this fucking nerd who could throw heat, who came, went right before me, who fucking sandbagged me. God damn it. Made me have to do something I wasn't ready for. Yeah. Uh, but everybody did give you a round of applause that was in the stands, right? Thank no. You, thank you. I don't think most, <laughs> most people were like, yeah, I'll take two. <laughs> two hot dogs right here. They actually had two kids crying on the Jumbotron. <laughs> yeah. Like, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. That's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. I wanted the confusion of so many people going, what the fuck is going on? For what it's worth, though, you're usually used to throwing off of a tee. This is true. <laughs> so, I, I am. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm certainly used to throwing the tee. <laughs> and if I could have thrown that, if that kid would have hung in. Tee, by tee, you mean tallywhacker, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I don't you, cuss. You, you throw the tee around. I don't swear. <laughs> <laughs> Put some peas and some A's, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, there was something else. Oh too, no, I got I, was... I, I got more. So so we we <clears> go we finish we finish everything up. We uh, t- the, or Derek or uh, Jeremy takes pictures on the field with the extremely tall catcher that caught the first pitch. Apparently, he was a pitcher. Yeah, he was right. a pitcher. Uh, but we ended up going it up. Depends it, on the date. Yeah, right. <laughs> he should have been thrown to me. <laughs> he probably should have been. You're. A defensive I didn't have player. a fucking glove. That's right. Uh, defensive man caught without his glove. You right. Believe that shit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but then we go up to the concourse. Like to imagine you get ready to get into a fight, and you open your trunk, and instead of pulling out a bat, you pull out a glove. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, Come here, you son of a bitch. You want to go? <laughs> Triple play your ass right now. That's right. <laughs> but we go. Jeremy and myself go up uh, to the concourse, and and Jeremy's just walking around, and all of a sudden I hear from behind me next to Jeremy, there's a kid who's requesting a picture. I say kid. He was taller than He's a kid to us. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. He's like six foot two and what, like a buck eighty? No. No. Two, he's two a ten. Big, big kid. Um <laughs> no, he was just solid brick shit house muscle. Um Yeah, his name was Quentin. Yeah. Um I don't want to give his last name because he didn't give us permission. That's true. I, I wish at the time, I wish we would have asked. Uh, no kidding. Defensive tackle, I believe. I looked him up. A defensive tackle for South Dakota State. Yeah. Uh, so, and I believe he's a senior. So he would have been, yeah, probably 230, 240, but very well. Like, like he didn't have my ass. <laughs> no, <laughs> at all. He did not. One well. thing I can tell you, by the way, in watching that video is that I, I forget, because I don't see full-body video of me from time very often, uh, just how awkward of a built man that I am. <laughs> <laughs> for, for those listening who have never like actually seen me standing like you know full frontal or anything, I'm six foot tall, yeah, right? But I have a 32-inch inseam, which is something you would expect to find on somebody who's like 5'8". Uh, so by simple math, I have the torso of somebody who's six foot four. Gotcha. Now, when people like hold their arms out and you measure like fingertip to fingertip, it should come out very close to their height, which mine does almost perfectly, Mm -hmm. except I'm about six inches broader across the shoulders than the average six foot person is. So that comes off of my arms. <laughs> so my arms are about three inches shorter, and my knees are much lower in proportion to my shoulders than where they ought to be. And then given the nature of my work, I, I use a lot of like pistol grip type drills and pneumatic tools and shit like that. So I have forearms like fucking Popeye. <laughs> and then I have very small hands with short like chode fingers. <laughs> I'm basically a huge midget. <laughs> is where your knees at? 
<laughs> Down by my fucking feet. That's where. Closer to my fucking feet than my nipples. Yeah. Um. Uh, so yeah, I fucking hate the way I look. By the way, Quentin is uh, he's six foot three, two forty five. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, he's I, a big motherfucker. He, I, I imagine, I think I saw he was a senior. So um, was he from here? He or may or? not I be in the weight room as much. I, I would love. Yes, to Yes, he's from Wichita. Okay. Uh, I, God, I'm going to sound like a fucking stalker. He's the <laughs> one who came up to me, and and again, I was when I met him. I was in my head, and I've I've been recognized a handful of times, like on the street, and, but not often enough to where I'm used to it. Right. So, it, it's always like a shock to me when that <laughs> happens. And so, you know, this kid couldn't have been nicer and more excited to meet us. And uh, I should have put out, you know, a feeler that if he ever wants to come on the show. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we it. would love to get a college football player. <laughs> oh shit. I just wonder what his his plans are for after college. Oh, I don't know. I have no idea. But so, uh, um, yeah, it was it was a great experience. I I I gotta tell you, I love putting the videos together. It was it was something I had no idea that I really enjoyed. But to be able to, you should edit other podcasts. Then. <laughs> I, no, I don't want to. I bet you'd be great at that, no. dude. No, it was it was it really was a lot of fun, and I, I hope I hope a lot of you guys that especially if you could share those videos to people who have no fucking clue what's going on, that'd be great because uh, it's just that much funnier. But anyways, that was the ceremonial okay. first pitch. Unless you got anything else you wanted to add to either of it, but my week was golf. I'll wrap that up real quick. If either of you have anything to go, I know Jeremy. It's been a long time since you've been on well, the show. Uh, yeah, I got There's, nothing. Mine was all work. So yeah. okay, this uh, this last weekend was my least favorite weekend of the year, garage sale weekend. Uh huh. Um, oh yay! So yeah, luckily I had to work for pretty well all of it, not at the garage sale, uh, my my regular job. Um, so anyway, I guess the very first customer it went Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Very first customer, of course. Uh, my wife was using this rolling workbench thing that I have to put shit on and the very first guy is that workbench for sale <laughs> so my <laughs> wife had to go through and put signs on all of my tools tools not for sale workbench not for sale <laughs> just all that shit to which i guess garnered a whole new level of hate from people oh. when people saw it they were almost like offended like these tools ain't that great oh Kinda, really yeah why would we want to buy this shit <laughs> almost like why is he hoarding this shit what he thinks he's too good to sell his fucking tools to us mm -hmm. that's how they took it and so uh that black and decker's not that good no i don't use black and decker <laughs> fucking dare you i know you're an orange man <laughs> i am rigid so not black, black and decker's entry level yeah come on, dude come on I quit. I fuck it. <laughs> you know what you get with the Black and Decker? Five gallon bucket. <laughs> Oddly enough, that's what I was using to prop up that uh, piece of plywood. I used the lid from one of my mini buckets as a uh, home plate. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, on Saturday, um, I get home from work just in time to see. Uh, it, it's my my wife, my mother in law, and my sister in law, kind of all pool their shit together and my sister-in-law has an 11 year old daughter and so every year she's got a bunch of old clothes that she can't wear and toys that she's grown out of and stuff like that and those are always big sellers well uh this as i get there this lady is approaching my wife she's got one of my niece's toys i don't know what the fuck it was but it was like my wife had four dollars on it and this lady goes would you take 50 cents for it again you know my my feelings on people who make ridiculously low offers <laughs> but my my wife goes uh no no i don't think so and didn't even make a counter offer and uh she goes you know this is the last day of the garage sale right <laughs> yeah i do ain't no way nobody's giving you no four dollars for that <laughs> and she goes well if that's the case then uh, i guess it'll go in the garage sale next year and she like with force slams it on the the table oh shit she didn't break it or not. i mean just like in a way that showed she was disgusted and i just got to hear her turn and go fucking bullshit 
Oh. Over a $4 toy. Because <laughs> my wife wouldn't sell it for an eighth of the fucking price <laughs> that, that they were asking. Mostly because it wasn't hers, so she didn't have the, the power to negotiate the prices. But at that point, honestly, if I were her, I would rather pay that woman $4 to make her sit in a chair and watch me burn that thing. <laughs> <laughs> You should have picked it up and just slammed it and broke it. And be like, I'll take have. 50 cents for it now. Yeah, yeah no shit. Here's a $4. I, I should have walked up like I was a customer and said, oh, is that still for sale? <laughs> Only $4. Are you serious? Only $4 for that? I'll take it. <laughs> Fuck it. I'll give you 10 Um. So uh, oh, anyways, um, the other thing that I did on, on Amazon Prime, that movie Air. Yes. Yeah. Have you watched it? Yes. yes. Great movie. <laughs> Uh, I enjoyed it very much. Um, what I didn't enjoy was what came after because I just let it run. I was, wasn't paying a whole lot of attention and you know how it kind of like brings up the next thing. Uh huh. Well, uh, it was this uh, documentary called Hellier is a documentary series. Okay. Two seasons. The first season I believe was five episodes. The second season was 10 and it's this paranormal research group. So you know that I instantly like these people. Uh -huh. <laughs> but they got this email from this guy in a little town called Hellier, Kentucky, where he was saying that these creatures, basically from like some abandoned coal mine nearby, had been like coming and making all kinds of ruckus outside of his house. And he had like fuzzy pictures of them. And he had pictures of these footprints that looked genuine. And so it was kind of their, this documentary following them investigating that and i'm like they're not gonna make a documentary if they don't find something of, of interest yes they will <laughs> <laughs> yes they fucking will and i sat there and hate watched 15 hours of these jack offs doing olympic level mental gymnastics Jumping from one idiotic conclusion to the other. <laughs> By the end of it, they were talking about interdimensional pixies <laughs> and talking about it like it's fucking fact. <laughs> this is what they do when they travel between worlds. How do you know? <laughs> You've never met one of these fucking things because they don't exist. But I mean, it was just such <sighs> nonsense and the second half the second season is just a commercial for the first season like them patting themselves on the back for the good reviews that they obviously paid for so i don't want anybody to watch this <laughs> but it's called hellier h-e-l-l-i-e-r i encourage everyone to go to their amazon prime account pull this thing up and give it a one star fucking review. Uh, the, I believe the review that I left for it was it must be incredibly painful and uncomfortable to walk around being so constantly full of shit <laughs> as what these people are. Nice. So uh, please leave a similar cool. review for this thing. Let them know that this shit should not be tolerated and every one of them should be executed. <laughs> oh my God. We it's, did. Uh, we wow. Did, my buddy told me he was trying to watch. Uh, you remember when the mule with Clint? Eastwood. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. So. Yeah. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. <laughs> he got on. Did I tell you this? Uh huh. He got but on go and, and found. Uh, thought he was watching the mule, and like 45 minutes in, there's still no Clint Eastwood, and he's like, Clint Eastwood's got to be in this somewhere. And then he realized that he wasn't watching the newer mule. He was watching an older movie called The Mule. Not much older, I don't believe, but uh, about a guy that tries to smuggle heroin over from like India. Uh, and he swallows condoms, and it's in his stomach, and they're basically just the FBI or somebody catches him coming into the country, figures out what's going on, and they lock him in a hotel, and he's trying not to shit for like a week. <laughs> <laughs> and it's and once he told me the plot, I'm like, I kind of got to watch this now. Yeah. So I watched yeah. it. I did watch it. It's, uh-huh. <laughs> uh, 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 you should watch it. It's, That's all you got. It, you really should. It's fucking crazy. It's it's the it's kind of a funny shitty movie. You, literally, uh, it, it is it is worth the watch. Jeremy, uh, I think you'll love it. Uh, In the words of Dan Cummins, three out of five stars wouldn't change a thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Well, that is uh, I think all three of our weeks. Uh, appreciate it. Keep laughing, assholes. Oh, yeah, I think, right. I think we're about done. 
Almost. Uh, but before we move on to the fun parts of the episode, we're going to give a shout out to our sponsor, which is BattleCornCarePackages.com. Hi, everybody. My name is Curtis, and my family and I run Battlecorn Care Packages, a nonprofit organization that sends care packages to children battling cancer. In 2021, we began this organization when our daughter, JC, was diagnosed with a rare form of brain cancer. Today, we run it in her honor. In addition to that, we also host events throughout the year to raise money and awareness for pediatric cancer research. On August 26th in Appleton, Wisconsin, we will be hosting our second annual Gold Time Masquerade, where we will be donating 100% of the proceeds to the Pediatric Brain Tumor Foundation with a goal of $25,000. All of the information, including donor, sponsorship, and ticket sales can be found on our website at battlecorncarepackages.com. Thank you, and we hope to see you there. Okay, thank you very much to BattleCornCarePackages.com. Do us a favor, go and check them out. Help them get to their goal of $25,000. We appreciate everything that they're doing. uh, And hats off to Curtis and his family. Uh, From the bottom of our hearts, we really appreciate them. Now we get to move on to the fun. Let's get to the fun. We've got current events. We're going to go over here uh, briefly. Uh, I I know I'm a golfer. I know I'm the only one. But you guys have had to see something. No? No. Nothing about the, the Cinderella story golfer Michael is Block. That, no, is that the Bill Murray guy? No. It's a Cinderella story, the kid from nowhere. Actually, it's the exact same story. If Bill Murray was announcing that, it actually happened to a real guy. He uh, he turns out does, he's... Does he have anything to do with like alien time travelers? No, not at all. Well, then I didn't watch anything okay. about it. Well, no, this, uh, this guy who ends up being... He's just basically a club pro for a... Uh, a country club golf course in uh, California ends up, uh, I guess he, you have to get invited to the players championship of the PGA tour. And he ended up getting on. He was a complete underdog was expected to be out the first day ends up basically parring the course three days in a row goes on, gets top 15 out of all of these players, even uh, pairs up with Rory McIlroy. And on the 15th hole, just to put the cherry on top aces, uh, 15 and uh, gets himself a hole in one. It was a really great story. Um, if you have not looked into that and you're not a golf fan, it's still a fucking great story. So my hats off specifically to uh, Michael oh, you Block. Look like you so, took your head off. It looks like it's still sitting uh, it's right there on your because I got fucking headphones on. You asshole. They are removable. That's fine. Um, now Eric, Derek might uh, get with me on this one. I don't agree with him on football, but I think golf is rigged. Oh, really? Is yeah. that right? <laughs> yep, it's scripted. It, it, it very well could be. That ace was scripted. Yeah, that's right. Uh, that's so, possible. So that's my golf stuff for the day. There you go. Uh, enjoy it. Uh, but Tom Brady. Tom Brady is now going to be part owner of the Las Vegas Raiders. Well, I think he has been ever since the tuck rule. <laughs> uh, that, right, bah, bah, boom. Yeah, there you go. Get a rim shot. Um, I, I'm not really surprised about this at all. I mean, I... I know he doesn't want to leave football, but I'm I'm actually kind of shocked that he didn't go into broadcasting first. He turned it down, which is he, crazy. I think he agreed to it and then backed out. Why? Because I think he was going to get paid more for broadcasting than he they did, did playing his whole career. Yeah, exactly. And that's I mean, obviously he's got enough money; he doesn't necessarily need to. I get that. I mean, good he for him. Want to be one of the talking heads? I guess so. So I I, I mean uh, maybe he just got to share the spotlight when you're. He, he was going to be the next Jim Ross. Is yeah, what I heard. Yeah. And, and, oh my God! They broke him in half. <laughs> but, they killed him. <laughs> they absolutely killed him. Yeah. Um, but maybe he just knows that the sport is fake and, and he didn't want to be a That's part of that circuit. Thinking. Is that what you're thinking? Yeah. I'll be damned. Yeah, he's like, it's like watching WWE. I'm out. I'll just uh, buy part of the Raiders. God damn it. It's so ridiculous. Now, as part owner of the Raiders, he can't come out of retirement and play, can he? I don't know if Probably. that's a rule. I don't Probably. know. He Jordan pro- played for the that, Wizards. That's and right. And he was part owner. He was part owner, so was yeah. he part owner or just held a front office No, position? he was king shit of fuck mountain for yeah. that organization he played for. So... Good on him. Okay. Um, but, yeah, so uh, there's that. I believe Al Davis was on the original roster of, of the Raiders. That wouldn't surprise me. I think he still is. Yeah. He might be. <laughs> yeah. Um, don't you fucking cut me. <laughs> <laughs> That's on his tombstone. Yeah. No don't shit. cut me. Don't cut my kid's hair. <laughs> uh, the, uh, the WNBA is back. 
back. Aren't you guys excited? I've already won $300 on the WNBA. Are you fucking kidding me? Absolutely. Oh, no fucking way. No, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm kidding you. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, you just asked. <laughs> no, I said, absolutely. I, okay. I just That's wanted... more than an entire team's payroll. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no shit. I could have bought season tickets three times with $300. Mm-hmm. I, I'm I'm getting so sick and tired of this. I actually watched the interview. There was a head, the head coach for uh, uh, Brittany Griner's team, which I would love to say I know, but I know it's in Phoenix. The I don't. Mercury. Okay. Oh, congratulations. You mm-hmm. actually do know that. Yeah. I didn't. Um, but gets actually pissed off in a press That's conference. That's not where Mercury's at, though. It's not. It's not even on the planet. It's not. It's, it's sitting out there flat somewhere. It's hotter than Mercury in Phoenix, though. <laughs> it, it sure is. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Uh, but Mercury's got the humidity. Phoenix didn't have the humidity. Right. <laughs> it's dry heat. Uh, yeah. Well, it's like the it's like the far side of Mercury. That's actually freezing cold. Oh. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> Anyways, uh, the head coach is really pissed off. She's upset at the fans that they did not sell out the arena for Brittany Griner's return. So, so who is she? She's pissed off at people who weren't there. Yeah. That's like blaming shit on interdimensional <laughs> pixies. That's... <laughs> She's yelling at empty seats. <laughs> yeah, it's something like that. What an asshole. <laughs> Seriously, what an asshole. Her, her, if they didn't show up, that means they're not fucking fans. <laughs> you was... can't yell at what you don't have. That's right. They were playing like catch me with yelling Jeremy at... in the backyard. That's right. <laughs> That's, right. <laughs> That's like me going out. I, I'm After this, I'm taking my grandkids out for ice cream. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Uh, but no, if you see the interview, she's being kind of a cunt. When are they going to learn? That's not going to shaming people will it, it, not bring them around to your side. And that's exactly what she did. That's exactly what she did. She shamed me. She's like, I, I expected more out of you. Shamed who? Uh, shamed that the fan. nobody. <laughs> that nobody cares. All of your fans showed. Yeah. So. Uh, it's just not going to fucking happen. And I don't know what it takes to get through your thick fucking I, skull. But. I actually legitimately am rooting for them. I hope that it does. I hope they find a way to market that league because I know that those gals do work very hard do at what they're doing. But, I mean, saying that they do the same thing as as the guys in the NBA, that it's it's like saying that Ruth's Chris and McDonald's both do the same thing because they both serve food. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They don't do the same thing, and that's why they don't charge the same prices. <laughs> that's right. Uh, but to make it even better, uh, actually, Brittany Griner even said that she could beat DeMarcus Cousins in a one-on-one basketball game. Now, probably. Uh, I'm just uh, Old I mean, DeMarcus Cousins, no. But do you now, really honestly think that she could? I don't even know what the fuck he's doing now. Is he uh, even playing Sitting anymore? on his fucking couch, I don't think it matters. Did you... Uh, not to get political, but did you see she's got a whole different view on the national anthem now? <laughs> he kind of does, yeah, that's true. But um, but no, I, I don't think uh, I don't think it's gotten through skulls yet. That I, I don't think it matters, even if it's retired NBA or current NBA player. You can't, she can't beat one of those guys. I just don't think it's going to no, happen. No, no, and so. it's it's ridiculous to even think so i agree even though she is probably more man than (laughs) probably uh and then lastly i know the the actual nba (laughs) i say that such so condescendingly i don't mean to but the nba finals are right around the corner we have the uh, semifinals just now finishing up and uh ladies and gentlemen lebron james is out of the playoff picture for 2023 (laughs) Woo! yeah I didn't watch a single game, but Derek did. Yeah, I watched all the games, actually. I know you did. I was uh, in the booth with it on my phone watching the games. Are you fucking kidding me? No. Oh, God. Absolutely, I was. <clears throat> did um, I hear right? Is this this is Denver's first trip to the finals? Yes. yes. It's the first time they've swept anyone in the playoffs in 44 attempts. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. LeBron, I mean, they were, they were a former ABA team, correct? I they came know. in with the Spurs. Yep. And, I forget and the who Pacers else. and the Nets. And the, yes, the Nets for sure. Uh, in the seventies. Um, so yeah, this is their first trip to the finals. Um, it's I, I'm, a lot of people are saying that LeBron talking about LeBron. They're like, "Whoa, he just can't do it by himself." He wasn't the best player on his team. Yeah, uh, Anthony Davis was. Well, and really, uh, watching that game last night, uh, I came down to the last possession, which. Uh, LeBron was going in for the layup with like four seconds left, and the guy, I think it was Murray, grabbed it, 
all ball. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. all ball. Absolutely fucking stuff. And stuck. listening to Darvin Ham talk about how he thinks that, well, I'm not saying that there's calls that should go one way or the other, but no, that was all ball, Darvin. Yeah. Um, and really, the guy that should have shot that last shot uh, was inbounding. Um, Austin Reeves, a former Wichita State player. He played at Wichita State, yeah. Played at Oklahoma after that, I believe. Yep. Uh, That kid is fucking lights out from three. Yeah, he's good. I I felt like watching, because I watched the Golden State series, and I watched the Denver series, and it was, every time that kid fucking shot a three, it seemed like that fucker was going in and nothing but net every fucking time. Mm -hmm. So I don't know why you don't use LeBron as a decoy there and have him throw, kick it over to Reeves for the game winner. And it probably was it probably would have went in. Do you think by any chance that the reason why you didn't do that was because LeBron is trying to go after a legacy? That's exactly and so it. he forbid that happening in the in the huddle? He that's probably part of it. He wanted his hero moment. There's those famous Jordan last shots. Yep. Um cuz that's what he's going for. He's, he's going for legacy. He's about done. He's Supposedly mulling retirement. Oh, I think we all know he's not going to retire until he makes forces himself to get on uh, whatever team or force whatever team he's on to draft his son, and they're going to play it. They'll play a year together. His son's going to USC next year. Yep. Um, and then after that, he's draft eligible. Yep. That's what we all know. That's what he's waiting on. He's I think not is retired. his son even NBA material. I think I've so. I've heard he's not nearly as talented as the old man. If he if he didn't have the last name, <clears throat> I don't think he would have been as highly recruited as he was. Um, he did take a step up this year, um, but still, I don't think he's as – he's not, obviously not – he's okay. He, he's To me, he's not starter material. He may be somebody off the bench, yeah. but um, at least right now. Now, who's to say what happens in college? Maybe he develops better. I don't know. Yeah. You said he's going where? Uh, USC. Ah. Him and uh, was it Dennis Rodman's kid are going to play together at USC now. Really? Uh-huh. <coughs> but okay. – uh, yeah, so LeBron, then they asked LeBron about uh, Carmelo retiring. And I don't know what it was about his press conference after the thing, but apparently he thinks everybody thinks he's lying all the time. Who? LeBron? LeBron. Oh, yeah, because, oh, yeah, I mean, outside of the loyalty tattoo, we know that's a lie. <laughs> but he um, he was saying something about how he's like, they asked him about Carmelo retiring, and he's like, well, you know, I knew he was going to retire. Uh, I shot the video. You know, we, we produced that three days ago. Uh, I'm telling the truth. You can ask anybody. I'm not lying. And then he said something else about, I can't remember what it was, but he, oh, he was talking about going to see Carmelo uh, the year that Melo made the playoffs, Denver, his rookie year. Yeah. And LeBron either didn't, I can't remember if he didn't make it or got bounced out. And I went down there, I went and watched Melo's, I rushed home, watched Melo's first, uh, first playoff game. Again, I'm not lying. You got, you know, you can, you can, it's out there. You ask anybody. And I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why do you need to qualify? Yeah. He's like John Lovitz. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, That's the ticket. (laughs) Yeah. I watched Carmelo Anthony play. My wife, Morgan Fairchild. (laughs) (laughs) But he kept, he kept doing that shit. And I didn't, I didn't understand that. However, uh, some of the shit he did say, I did actually kind of enjoy his press conference. I fucking do not like the guy. But he was talking about Jokic, and uh, there were some fucking shots. I know he did it at least two or three times where the shot clock's winding down. Denver had a lot of shot clock violations. But the shot clock's winding down, and Jokic just leans back, got his hands behind his head, and just fucking tosses it yeah. and hits a three. Like, it was fucking unbelievable. And LeBron literally, because he, he had headphones too, Scotty, but he took his hat off and tipped it. Oh yeah, dude. yeah, to Jokic. Wow. So, so that, at least LeBron will do that. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Are you sure he was tipping his hat and not just trying to blind him with his thin hair? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think he did that right as you were getting ready to throw that pitch. I bet so. I right bet that's the what it was. <laughs> But, Jesus, uh, but no, like I really didn't mind. For like, I've hated the guy his entire career, but I don't think his press conference was that bad. Okay, so. that's that's fair. And so, he did not storm off the court. I rewound it over and over to make sure he did not. Because he I'm, didn't. I'm that petty. He did not. He shook hands with some of the players and then he left. But he did also start putting on his gear, his warm up gear, before the game was over. No. At the end of the bench. In the very last game, he sure shit did. Maybe it's just no. cold. He no. was down by two, and he took the last shot. 
His uh, time expired. There's I, no way he had his warm up gear on. There was a timeout, and granted, this is this is the footage I have, and it was while he was a Laker, and I don't know, but the it person probably, it wasn't last game. The person in the video actually said, "There's a minute left. You're down by ten, and I believe it was in L.A. But you're down by you're you're down by ten, and there's a minute left to go in the game, and he, and you could see LeBron putting on all of his warm ups, and it may be was from he found Denver. out? Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't that game because he played it, it, every it, every second yeah. like four seconds of the game, and so I'm like, holy. Holy shit! This is just a, a whole wow. deal. So how did that go, Coach? I need a breather. <laughs> thousand one, one thousand two. Not even in the huddle. Four seconds. Uh, it just uh, he just frustrates the shit out of me, and I and I hope he does retire. He, I just don't think it's going to happen. He I think actually right. got them to get Anthony Davis to storm off the court for him. Oh, is that right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> but man, that guy did flop his fucking ass off. Yes, I've he watched, did. I watched many of plays where he, like he got fouled and he was down on the ground for like. 30, 40, like delay a game, dude. <laughs> like I watched this in replay. Like one, one of the announcers is like, I don't know. That looks like just good defense. And the other announcer is like, no, that, that could be a flagrant. Uh, they went up to block his shot. And I think, I don't know how, if it, if it touched him, it was barely uh, the elbow on the back of the head. But man, you'd have thought he would have got hit in the head with a sack of doorknobs. <laughs> I mean, he was fucking yeah. down. Can't stand the thing about guy. that is, is even if they win that game, you're still down three one. That's right. Yeah, yeah. But exactly. I really wanted to see him get swept. I just it's the third time in the career it's happened. Yep. And now he's. I, I don't know about the other two, but he has been swept in a seven game series. So. There you go. Have that. What's in the shoes, guy? <laughs> <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Good. You deserve every bit of it. Much like that guy. Yeah. Well, that is our current events for this week. Now we get to move on to the fun stuff. We're uh, going to kick. There's one other thing for sports. I oh, just what do you got? The NFL uh, has changed their fair catch rule now. Oh, what is that? Uh, now, if you do a fair catch, no matter where it's at on the field, uh-huh. uh, it gets put at the 25 yard line on a kickoff. Oh, so even if it's. If, really? you're, if you're at the two and do a fair catch, it goes to the 25. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. On, part of, on, part on a script. kickoff or a punt? Kickoff. Okay. I believe it's just a kickoff. I just saw this on ESPN. Uh, took the final step. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, no. Uh, uh, Wait this a minute. season, a fair catch on a kickoff will be placed at the 25-yard line, regardless where it's fielded. Okay. Mm-hmm. Which 25? Because that <laughs> could really the swing The opposing things. team's 25. Yeah. yeah. Huh. That'd be great. I, I would go out of my way to fair catch it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but anyways, that is current events for this week. Uh, now we get to move on to the fun stuff. We're going to kick this off with overrated or underrated. And uh, we do have some... Whoa, shit. I want to let everybody know I forgot my reading glasses, so I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> you really don't have any huh. idea. What are you doing there, Dick? I'm just hanging out. Okay, you're hanging out? Yep. He went limp. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I always go limp around Scotty. That's true. You totally do. Um, all right, so we're going to kick this off with overrated or underrated. This is the first one, and this is actually from a, a listener. This is, uh, I believe this is from, uh, uh, I believe it's Instagram, uh, but this is from at Joe Ratliff 9494. He wants to know, overrated or underrated, having sex with a live album playing in the background so you get a round of applause every three to five minutes. I'm going to go overrated on that. Okay, why? Because the only live album I've ever had was the Wiggles in concert. <laughs> you fucking see And that is, uh, that is very odd. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm also going to go overrated. I like dead silence. I don't want music You playing. usually get that when you have sex. Absolutely. dead silence. Well, that's because of the ball gag and the, and the you know, the cover that up. You right. don't want to make it any It's usually because she's asleep. <laughs> is that what it is? Yeah. Uh, but that's no. your only shot to get in there is that, when she's passed out cold. Yeah, that's right. The um, old Cosby. <laughs> that's right. Scotty Cosby. That's right. But yeah, I want to say overrated. How about you there, Jeremy? Cosby oh, way, with stick. Way underrated because, yeah, that's that's my uh, – that is the only live albums that I own are Cosby <laughs> stand-up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A lot of applause there. Yeah, there's tons of it. Uh, next one. You give her the old standing O. <laughs> I, I sure do. Yeah. Just stand up well, and applause at the end of the bed. That was an orgasm joke, Scotty. I know. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> we're we're old. We uh, we don't stand anymore. We're <laughs> uh, flopping. Okay. Uh, <laughs> next one. Overrated or underrated? Speed limits enforced by snipers. Underrated. Okay. Uh, if it's if they're going under the minimum, <laughs> okay. Yeah, I I cut a guy off uh, this weekend, and man, it felt good. <laughs> I did it right on Kelly. He honked, and he was pissed. 
uh, but don't merge going 35 miles a fucking hour into a 60. What do you think is going to happen, you cocksucker? Um, so, yeah, I'm very underrated. I, I, if I had a pistol, I'd have shot the son of a bitch. <laughs> okay. Well, now that you put it that way, I'm going to say underrated. I, I definitely do not want snipers in the trees if you're going over the speed limit. That's for sure. I think you just let them go by. Plus, it's a tougher shot. Car- Carlin said it best. If someone's going slow, they need to get the fuck out of the way. <laughs> That's right. But if they're going faster than you, then they're a fucking asshole. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm going to go underrated. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, I don't know that I've ever encountered this. <laughs> I'll be very honest, guys. Uh, Snipers? You yeah, know. For, I, well, except I drive the speed limit. That's actually That's, why you... I'm a law-abiding citizen. Yeah. So I'm safe. Um, you go 40 in a 40? Yeah. Oh, you oh God oh, damn, I hate you. I can't oh, I hate stand you. you right now. And I drive right in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't be passed. Pac-Man style. And and not like as I'm like veering over. I mean, 10 and 2 and keeping it right in the middle. <laughs> Eyes right on the road. Cruise control set on 40. Uh, so, um, God, I like the I, – I love snipers. Don't get me wrong. I'm very impressed by snipers. Um, I think this is actually just one step up from the severe tire damage prongs that they do if you go in the wrong way of a parking lot. <laughs> That always seemed harsh to me. <laughs> like, you can either pay the 50 cents to park here, or we're, or we're going to shred all four of your fucking tires. <laughs> then we're going to have a guy pop out with anti-tank missiles <laughs> and just destroy you. And then they're going to find your kids and ruin their fucking credit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Or pay the toll. <laughs> <laughs> or don't drive in the wrong fucking way. By the way, cash only. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I ran into that over yeah. a dollar. The lady was like, you can go walk across the, the highway to the bank. No. <laughs> no. I'm not well, going to deposit. It's a, a here's my slip. credit card. I, I can't take that, sir. We don't have a way to take cards. Then just let me go. It's a dollar. <laughs> no, I can't do that, sir. Fuck. Can wow. too. I promise <laughs> yeah. you, yes, you can. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Jesus Christ. I don't like my car that much. I'll run through this motherfucker. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to go with underrated. Okay, sounds good. Uh, next one, overrated or underrated, silent but deadly farts in a highly populated area with no ventilation. Giving or receiving? <laughs> uh, giving. Underrated. <laughs> How about receiving? Overrated. Yeah. <laughs> okay. that, that shit ain't funny. <laughs> At all. <laughs> like driving the speed limit yeah no it's the fucking law i think it's underrated no matter what think i want the fuzz after me my car's always dirty yeah always riding dirty right uh i think it's underrated no matter what i think either if you're giving or receiving because i just think it's it's kind of funny no matter what it's obviously uh funny if you dealt it but if you got a whole bunch of people pissed off because they smell a, a stank fart in a like crowded room, I'm laughing. I, that's why one thing I'm doing is just laughing. So I think it's underrated. I just like to imagine Jeremy now getting pulled over and the cops like, you got any weapons on you? Oh, I got this glove in the trunk. <laughs> not, not anymore. I don't know if the two bodies in my trunk have any weapons on them. I didn't search them before I threw them in there. I got a groundskeeper award up my ass. <laughs> Yeah, that's a bat. Is that is that considered a weapon? Uh, how about you, Derek? Oh man, anytime I can let a silent fart, it's underrated. <laughs> What's crazy to me now is my wife knows when it's me, <laughs> which knows. is fucking insane. Yeah, because like somebody will fart, and I'll be like, oh god, and she'll be like, oh, someone farted, and I'm like, yeah, it's fucking terrible. And then I might let one like thirty minutes later, and she'll go. <laughs> you farted. I'm like, God damn it. How do you know I wasn't the last one? She knows my brand. Wow. Yeah. That's it is impressive. fucking amazing. That's impressive. Yeah. And so COVID may, fu- may have fucked some of her sense of smell up, but I think it makes the other part <laughs> yeah. superhuman. Wow. That's what happened. She's like man. the yeah. worst X Man. <laughs> <Right. laughs> it's like the one superpower that nobody wants. I can recognize my husband's fart. <laughs> Really good. Yeah. Really, really good. Yeah. <laughs> Give me a uniform. <laughs> oh my God. It's like a cadaver dog. 
Tell me, Bloodhound. <laughs> that was horrid. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. I'm crying. Oh, shit. He just caught me way off guard. Okay. I didn't know you hate superhero movies, Scotty. <laughs> yeah. I fucking hate them. Yeah, but that's I'd, a watcher. <laughs> I'd watch the shit yeah. out of that one. Oh, okay. Next one. Overrated or underrated? Being a gynecologist. Overrated. Really? Big time. Mm -hmm. You see a lot of plus, man. Yeah, a lot, those are probably right, yeah. a lot of ones you don't want to see, probably. <laughs> yes, true. And B, uh, I know when you get home from work, the last thing you want to do is deal with cars. <laughs> I would hate if the last thing I wanted to do was deal with puss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, hi highly overrated. <laughs> um, typically, the women bringing them to you, you like, like Derek says, you don't want to see them. And the reason that uh, they're bringing them to you is because they are infected. Um, <laughs> there's or, something wrong with them. Probably a lot of discharge. Yeah, oh, old drippy it puss is back. It's going to be fun colors. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, God. We called Not, her puss Roy G. Biv. Oh, my God. Her puss is just one continual streak of silent but deadly. It's uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. There's <laughs> not a pot of gold in the inside of that rainbow. That's right. It's like nobody hoes things down at the Fisherman's Wharf. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's a sidekick to that X-Men fucking character you were talking about. Uh, but no, that's it's way overrated. I, I don't want to. Exactly why these guys said it. But, I mean, it's never the hot ones. Ever. It's 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 never going to be the good-looking ones that you're going to be looking at. You're gonna Not look enough of them anyway. At least, yeah, the percentages think, are going to be way just off. Just think about the number, just men or women, the percentage of super hot people there are in the world. Correct. Is, you know, we were talking top 5%, which leaves you with the bottom 95% <laughs> of ladies with their trippy snatch. That's, <laughs> that's mm. correct. Oh, shit. All right, last one. Overrated or underrated? Using the color of your skin to your advantage. Underrated. Under-fucking-rated. Yeah, you know how many... You know my ratio of warnings to tickets I've gotten <laughs> from police uh -huh. officers? It's outstanding. <laughs> you, you know my what, war, my warnings above replacement is yeah. amazing. Oh, you know what really ramps that up? Driving a Volvo station wagon. <laughs> Yeah, they're like, oh, there's no way he was actually being reckless on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a turbo though, Jeremy. They don't know that. <laughs> they're like, sir, you had a, you only had to say you only had a couple. You're good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you're, you're, you're on your way to go pick your kids up. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, God. I waited till after my kid left the house to get the world's safest car. <laughs> well, good for you. I just thought there was a chance. Oh shit. Well, we're running long, so we're going to move on to the next segment. This is the new one that we got a lot of positive feedback for. This is going to be, yeah, I'm that guy or fuck that guy. These are particular people that uh, you got to make that decision and uh, go with it. So this is the very first one. This is actually from a listener. This is from Twitter, I believe. This is at Jersey underscore Stafford. Uh, he wants to know if you were that guy or fuck that guy, and that is the guy that always wants to fight in bars or sporting events. Ah, fuck that guy. Really? Absolutely. Derek's been that guy. No, I <laughs> At one time. <laughs> one time. <laughs> Tequila. Not no. No? Vodka. Vodka. That's why I don't uh, drink vodka, because fuck it, that guy. It, it was <laughs> just a mix of everything. Yeah. <laughs> was it? That night, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. He felt slightly slighted by this dude. Dude. That was an and asshole. And he, yeah. was, he was an asshole, but I think he thought you were trying to hit on his girl, which you weren't. No. Nah. Um, and that's huh. probably the only piece of pussy he's ever going to get. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a little protective, and Derek just... Wanted yeah. to go off on him. Yeah, I, I I think I'm in the middle on this one. I don't necessarily think fuck that guy because if anybody else is like that towards me, I want that guy's help. Uh, but I'm definitely not that guy, so fuck that guy. How about you, Jeremy? Oh, fuck that guy. Okay, yeah. I've been in enough fucking barroom fights and just fights in my life to know that even if you win the fight, you're getting hit a few times. And getting punched sucks. Mm -hmm. It does, and it hurts. It does, and the older that you get. The, the slower the recovery time, uh -huh. and there is just so many unknowns in the world nowadays, and you never know what you're getting in with into. Or I mean, like, look at our friend Dave. Yeah. Uh, Dave Rickles. Rickles, yeah. From the, I mean, obviously he's in good shape, but you don't look at him and just go, God damn, that fucker's ripped. Yeah. But could you imagine 
picking a fight with him and giving him no fucking choice. No, nope. that would suck. It would really <laughs> suck. And people are there's a lot of people out there now who know jujitsu and martial arts and shit that you would never think do. Uh huh. And uh, dude, when I took taekwondo class, my instructor was in his early sixties. And he was a complete fucking badass. He was a tiny little man, and he would whip your fucking ass. And, uh, yeah, that's the thing. If you're friends with that guy, he's going to drag you into it. <laughs> okay, fair For enough. Sure. Next one. The guy that uses K or the thumbs up emoji as a text response. Oh, I'm totally that guy. I know you are. Usually it's the black thumbs up. I know it is. I, and whenever people that haven't really texted me that much and I send that, they're like, Wait, what the f- <laughs> yeah. Did I text the right guy? Oh, yeah. You and Choi, both of you. <laughs> oh, do you have the same thing? Same shit. Nice. Um, I I am also that guy, but I'm like, uh, I, I'm that guy, but I'm like double thumbs up and mine are yellow. Jeremy? I didn't know there was a double thumbs up emoji. There's not. It's just I put two thumbs up right next to each other. So that way it's... Uh, it's so like they're facing the, the same fucking direction? Like yes. some kind of a freak? Yeah, it's like this. Kind so, of, yeah. What kind of pixie has two of the same thumbs? An interdimensional one. <laughs> <laughs> that's a fact. Yeah. Guys, you look it up. You won't find anything that says that's not true. Yeah. Are you that guy, Jeremy, or fuck that guy? I am the thumbs up guy. I'm not the K guy. I write it out. Okay. Why? Okay. Scotty usually puts two other Ks after the first K. <laughs> no, I don't. He likes to represent. I, now, I, I lied not. about spelling it out in full. I will put okay, but... Typically, it's just the thumbs up because I don't really want to talk to you. What if it's just the guy that texts back K? Do you like it, that? Are is you? is that all that needed to be said? Maybe. Am I if if I'm looking for more information than that? Like if I ask a series of questions and you just respond K? Yeah. Do, how, do you spell fuck that guy? Do you smell snack S N A C and then you just push K at the very end of texting back? That that completes the spelling. That's all right. No. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> so fuck that guy. I would never spell snack. <laughs> ever. <laughs> ever. No? All right. You, you, Unless you're if you know anything to me about I'm me. Snack. Okay. If, if you knew anything about me, you would know I, I never spell snack. Okay, that's fine. Uh, next one. The guy that tries to make small talk to eliminate awkward silence. That's me. Is it really? 100%. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I can't have dead I can't have dead air. Can't have dead silence. I think <clears throat> Yeah, I'm that guy. And I don't necessarily mean to. Sometimes silence is great, but it's that awkwardness, especially whenever you're trying to have a conversation with somebody that that both of you guys run out of shit to talk, and it's that awkwardness of, okay, well, I got to go, or something like that, like, especially that we do a podcast. We've done it for four and a half years. Oh, God. Dead silence on a podcast is just dead air. Nothing happens. And luckily, we're, we've gotten so good at it that we don't have to edit shit out of a show. We never um, did on that. Yeah. But uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm this guy. Jeremy? It depends. Okay. If it's somebody who I know, I, I have no problem being in silence, just sitting there. If there's nothing to be said, then I'm not going to say nothing. Um, usually, I've got something to say. Mm -hmm. It's very interesting. Um, but if it's a stranger... And like we're forced to be in the same room together, and we can't get on our phones. Um, yeah, I'll I'll usually try to, just because. Now I have in my later age, I have uh, adopted the idea of I'm not afraid to make somebody as uncomfortable as they're willing to make me. True. So if they just look at me expecting me to do something, I will just look back. Oh. Um, <clears throat> Almost like a fucking stare down. Again, competitive. Mm -hmm. uh, but no, it's um, just to be nice generally. Yeah, I'll say something. And I'm I'm a very interesting person, and I can usually spin small talk into something we both care about. Yeah, you're probably right about that. Uh, next one. The guy that bounces his leg uncontrollably under the table. Yeah, I'm that guy. That's me. I can't control it, and I don't mean to, but I do it all the fucking time so i'm that guy i started being that guy when i was in eighth grade yeah mm -hmm. um i had some fucking broad that sat behind me back when they had the desks that had the racks where you'd put your books underneath oh yeah 100 they were joined yeah yes and this bitch would put her feet on my rack and i you could always feel it and it drove me nuts when people would do that and then they'd move their feet and you fucking feel your desk. all the way underneath it yep. yeah so i started fucking taking my foot and then in my leg and just banging it up against the side of the desk and it would drive her fucking crazy 
to where we fought like <laughs> crazy. <laughs> she fucking hated me, which is great. Great. Good, and good uh, so I started doing that, and now I do it all the time. Uh, and you don't even know it's going yeah. on until the table starts shaking and your wife gets pissed off. Uh, Jeremy? Yeah, I'm very fidgety. Um, I am that guy. Yeah, I know. Uh, and if it's not with my hand, usually it's with my hands because my hands get sore and tight from work. Yep. But if I can't do anything with my hands, then yeah, the, the knees go. And especially if I'm driving a stick shift. Oh yeah. Yeah. Cool. And Sit last there and bounce the clutch. Over <laughs> and over and over and over. <laughs> yeah. And last one, the guy that uses the self checkout line for more than 10 items when it clearly says 10 items or less. Fuck that guy. <laughs> and don't think I'm not counting. <laughs> I am fucking counting. <laughs> Jeremy's sitting there just going, what is it, four, five, six, seven? 11! He's got 11 shits in his bag! Come and get him! Yeah, fuck that guy. Uh, well, 11 I'm okay with. That's that's what they call a baker's 10. Oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but you get to a dozen, and no, thank you. Uh-huh. Or as Jimmy Pardo called, uh, you know, a 13 is a baker's dozen, 11 is a lazy baker. Um, <laughs> okay, but uh, no, it's uh, it's when you just so clearly fucking violate it. Yeah, you got twenty in the ten line, and there's a line. Yeah, oh yeah, fuck you. Uh huh. Absolutely. How about fuck you? Fuck you for being in the store same time as me, <laughs> Derek. Fuck that guy. Yeah. Yeah. Even worse. I we used to go like late, late at night to the store. Me and some buddies would and just load up on fucking chips and shit when I was like eighteen. 19. Oh yeah. I'll never forget. They would have one lane open, and there was this one bitch. We had to hurry because you would see her. She would have three carts. She would be pushing one, pulling one, and her kid would have one. Oh, no. And at that point, you become that guy. If you've got 12 or 13 items, you go through that lane because she would drag all those shits through to get checked at, by the checker, and I'm just like, shit. It would, we, we One day, we had to sit and wait. And I think we sat down, each got a magazine out of the aisle and sat there for like 35 minutes. Waiting. Oh, I'm sure she has yeah. coupons and shit, too. Oh, everything you can think of. God, that sucks. I am just annoyed with the self-check lane. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't fucking work here. <laughs> okay. All right. You do it. Fine. You didn't bring the price of my groceries down. You fucking check the shit out. <laughs> All right, well, that is uh, Yeah, I'm That Guy or Fuck That Guy. Again, guys, if you have any suggestions for these, you can send them to us on Twitter, which is at LOT Sidelines or at Laughing on the Sidelines on Instagram. Thank you very much for that. Uh, Now we get to move on to Jeremy's favorite part of every single episode. This is Questions and Preguntas, and we're going to kick this bad boy off with the first question, which is, what's something you do that the opposite sex never even thinks about? Uh. Trying not to come. Damn, that's a good one, dude. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That, uh, <laughs> yeah, they don't really think about coming too soon. They can do it a lot of times. That's true. Uh, <laughs> one uh, and done for me. Can they? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm one shot, and then I need a break. <laughs> so, wow. yeah. Wow. Oh, dude, that's spot on. That's great. Mine are shitty compared to that one. I, I was just thinking. Like, yeah, they are. I, yeah, every, I haven't <laughs> even heard them yet. And yeah, they are. Every, everything. I think Derek just answered for every guy in the world. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, no, you're not sticking to your leg on a hot, sweaty day. I think, uh, like, I'm sure that there's probably some women out there that got some loose labias. But at the same time, with guys... I I just don't think women understand how much of an inconvenience your nuts being there are, especially if they're nice and sticky. So that's mine. Jeremy? Uh, having to keep saying up in my head, don't stare at her tits. Don't stare at her tits. Do not stare at her tits. Her eyes are up there. Don't don't look at her fucking tits. And then, God damn it. You can, you can look, just don't stare. Make, make her think you're thinking about something. Um, Fuck, she caught me. Fuck, yeah. Fuck she caught me. Uh, but yes, that's, uh, that's hundred percent true as well. All right. Uh, next one. If you had to get a movie quote tattooed on your body, what would it be? Um, I award you no points <laughs> and may God have mercy on your soul. <laughs> All righty. Yeah, that's... Uh, I that. actually want the entire thing. What you just said. <laughs> Son of a bitch. That's, ah, that's a good one. I can't, I can't top that. How about you, Jeremy? I'm your Huckleberry. 
I'm your Huckleberry. Yeah. Okay. I I would put that because uh, nobody knows what the fuck it means. <laughs> I read I read what it, it meant. That Did it's you read this? it's actually Huckleberry. Huckle yes. Yeah. But with that stupid southern draw that he had, and what might be cinema's greatest character of all time, um, it sounds like Barry. Okay. And when we all know about Huckleberry Hound. Yes. Oh. Wow. I wonder if that's what he meant. I like. I'll be your so. little cartoon dog. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. Um. Mine would be the the blackness of my belt is like the inside of a coffin on a moonless night. If you know that movie, I will be impressed. I mentioned it already. Beverly Hills, Hills Ninja. Ninja. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. And then I'd have Chris Farley. I haven't Farley. seen it in 15 years. I know. Yeah. Don't do not do it. it. It ruins it even more. So just don't. Lots of like holy shnikes. Oh, that yeah. That's another good one. What'd you do? <laughs> that's my yeah. favorite part of, Ed, of all of his movies. When that fucking door falls off. What'd you do? <laughs> hey. And when you're watching it with somebody who's watching it for the first time, you just laugh knowing what's coming. Oh, yeah. yeah. That is by far. They're all out. Uh, you just see him through that fucking plate glass window putting his shoulder into that fucking thing trying to close that door what'd you do so fucking good uh, that's a great scene okay Tommy boy everybody for yeah, you kids out for there you, I'm shocked by how many kids have never seen that movie one of the best movies of all time oh my god alright uh, next question if dogs had google what would be in their search history other sex positions. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah they've only got the one. <laughs> yeah. No matter what no matter what position they do it in. Yeah. What, what it else? is doggy style. Yeah. What, what else do we got? Can I flip her over and do it people <laughs> style? I don't know. Caninekamasutra.com. Yeah. That's what it is, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, very close to my answer. I just put leg porn. Uh, so that's mine. How about you, Jeremy? What shade of red <laughs> should it be? <laughs> 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 oh wow will my owner ever come home yeah that's a sad one but it's probably true there, there's a youtube channel that my wife watches called girl with the dogs and it's she's a, a pet groomer and it just shows her like grooming these big sweet dogs and there's one where she's blow drying this one and it's just got a big old boner and, <laughs> and they just left it in yeah i mean it's fucking red rocket big time that is why i cannot have a boy dog you can't do it because of that yes i cannot pet i, I just you don't do. want to pet a dog and then watch the chapstick roll out <laughs> lipstick I, like i'm yeah. getting it horny i don't want that oh freddie likes it when you touch him mm-hmm. <laughs> it gets hard for generally Jeremy neutered all time. dogs don't do they yeah they do Huh. All okay. of mine have been neutered, and all of them get uh, lipstick erections. So, yeah. Weird. Anyway. Yeah, especially whenever you start jacking it, Scotty. I know. That's, uh, you know. That's what like, I do. Come on, get it up. Red Rocket. Red <laughs> why, Rocket. Why do you think they tolerate me, Derek? Mm-hmm. Uh, anyways, uh, next one. I wish Sesame Street. Sorry. I wish Sesame Street had a show to help children dealing with a serious issue like blank. Child sex trafficking. I think that needs to be. You, you think that Big Bird and Grover need to They need to step in. That. Yes, sure they do. absolutely. I mean, I remember we had to watch like Reading Rainbow and shit to make sure that we weren't getting into the back of vans that had an ice cream sign on it. Now you're supposed to do that. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> like, it's unbelievable. It's craziness. So, But I think that's a really big uh, concern of mine, and I wish they would make one. What's wrong, Snuff? <laughs> I got hooked on heroin and forced into sex, Bird. <laughs> Uh, how about you, Derek? Uh, the fact that hippos kill 500 people every year. Woo, that's a good one. Everybody thinks they're cute, cuddly animals. They're not. Yeah, we need to address this. We These do. kids need to learn it. They do. They Absolutely. can, at a full sprint, I think they can reach close to 35 miles an hour. Yeah, you got a zigzag. That's how you get mm-hmm. away from them. New so. segment, hippo shot. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and, and we can tie it all in. They actually have the ability to outrun a horse. <laughs> Hippos do, yes. Uh, I want to see that one hippo in the Kentucky Derby. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hippo and racing. And here comes the human. And I'd rather third turn it. <laughs> and it's fat ass coming around the fourth turn, coming down the straightaway. Uh, oh shit! Silver chair, hungry, hungry. Here he is around. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. How about you, Jeremy? Um, God damn, there's so many issues. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, how to properly throw out a ceremonial first. <laughs> <laughs> if I'd have learned that as a kid, 
My life would have been easier. Sure would have. Sure would have. I tried to tell you, throw it in front of the mound. Don't be a hard ass, but you didn't listen to me. That fucking Spitfire was up there. (laughs) Didn't listen to me. That was, number one, that was never an option to not (laughs) go from the mound. Two, I had plenty of fucking arm to get there. I know, I know. Didn't listen to me. It was the trajectory. Why would I fucking listen to you? You've lost (laughs) everything in your entire life. Except for fantasy football. Anyways, uh, last. That's scripted. Uh, It's scripted. Yeah, that's right. Now that is, I don't believe the NFL is scripted, but fantasy football is so fucking scripted. Yeah. And ask Derek. He was the fucking commissioner. Commissioner, Yeah. (laughs) And last question. If farts were not invisible, what do you think they would look like? I have mine. Okay. Uh, The Call of Duty Warfare, uh, Modern Warfare, like map, whenever it's uh, Warzone and everything just kind of becomes smog and it just comes through and strangles everybody that's uh, not going to the clear area, that's what what I think it should look like. Okay. Kill everybody. How about you? Me? I don't care. Yeah, you just looked in a general direction. Yeah. How about you guys? Use twos. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How about use twos? Yeah, you uh, can't really call us youths anymore. We're no, too old. you're too old. That's right. Um, Jeremy's first pitch. No, uh, <laughs> uh, I would say probably that dust that comes out when you bang erasers together. Oh like yeah, chalk dust or whatever that stuff. That's yeah, what it looks like. okay, that'd be good. How about you, Jeremy? I like like a well, an interdimensional pixie, probably. <laughs> Yeah? Yeah, or like Count Chocula. Okay. Just like a living embodiment, like a fog Count Chocula coming at you. <laughs> okay. I did have I did have another idea, and that was like uh, like glitter, like a shining, shimmering splendor that comes out of your ass whenever you fart, and I think that would be okay, Oh, could too. you imagine the negative association with strippers? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going in there. It stinks. <laughs> That's how they had to get it on. Yeah, exactly. They had to walk through a cloud of fart. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Okay, well, ladies and gentlemen, that was questions and preguntas. And now we get to move on to one of my favorite parts of every single episode, a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is our Laughing on the Sidelines draft brought to you by another segment because we don't have enough people sending us shit in our P.O. box, which you can go to the link in our bio, and uh, it's there. You can send it to our P.O. box, and we will open it on the show and, uh, yeah, give a shout out to the person who's People figured out the fucking scam. I think so, too. (laughs) It's just a way to get free shit. It kind of is, but we got some shit. Usually it's just a lot of dicks. Hey, we make your lives better. Yeah, that's true. We bring you comedy, kind of. That's why everybody tunes into the episode. I, mean, I don't know what you do, but oh. we bring you comedy. That's true. I do, it, I do it around once a month. I made you laugh one time. One time in the four and a half years, Jeremy. And uh, that's one too many, But to we, be honest. That was, that was a yeah. pity laugh. I think we let Jeremy yeah, do Yeah, we're going to let Jeremy do okay. the honors. Uh, this is from Jaden M. Doesn't say where he comes from, but he sent us a package. And so, uh, Jeremy, you get to do the honors since, you know, you're the OG. Okay. They paid. So, they spent $17 to ship it. on Just on shipping. I yeah. like to think it's a roll of quarters. <laughs> yeah, a $10. <laughs> there we go. I think it is. Okay, fair enough. Uh, let's see. Get your knife, your knife out. Okay. What? Isn't there usually like a rip? strip on these no not on those ones no well, there ought to be well just don't damage any whatever is in the box that's the most important part oh, i'm gonna fucking stab it yeah i'm gonna make it go too fast so a sniper takes it out oh <laughs> god <laughs> <laughs> oh dear lord careful don't fuck up your pitching shoulder that's correct oh, you need it's it. a silent but deadly oh is it part. is it a glitter bomb okay no uh this is for you scotty i think oh is it yeah i'm very terrified Oh shit! Oh, is it an inflatable male blow-up doll? Oh fuck! <laughs> no, but it is very funny. Whoever did this, oh, that is fucking cool! Oh my goodness! Oh my god, dude! Belts are so tacky. That is a fucking belt. It is a homemade belt. That's pretty cool. I am not going to lie. This is. That's better than that one. This is pretty yeah, fucking and that one's, cool. It's way better than that one, and that one's made of garbage. Oh, my God. This is made out of, it looks like cardboard. That is so they went fucking all out. neat. No, actually, they 
That is fucking cool. Son of a bitch, he spelled my name right. He spelled your name right. Yeah. And what's weird, Derek, is that you spell it wrong. I know. I know. Right? Yeah. Wow. I I've got to say, I have never. I'm pretty impressed with that. I am pretty impressed. This is definitely made out of cardboard. This dude put a he lot. He put some fucking time. He into put that. some fucking time into this. Wow. I'm not gonna lie. That's. Uh, you got to get rid of this thing. Yeah, we got to get rid of. Yeah, it. just oh, throw that away. Yeah, that one goes in the trash. Yeah, we're gonna do that. It's gonna. Oh man. That is. Oh, I'm knocking shit over, but that's okay. There we go. Wow, that's pretty fucking cool. That we is can't. that is cool and sad. <laughs> no, it's that not. Somebody put that kind of effort. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's very much appreciated. And wow. uh, a wonderful sentiment, but really, dude, what are you doing with your life? <laughs> you're, you're given given the obvious talent that you have. Why are you wasting it on that? Oh man, for us, I think it's fucking dope. That's crazy. I'm not saying it's not dope. It's it's oh. hella dope. But yeah, that's that's gonna I mean, be as good as it gets. This is a person who has some actual talent that could bring something to the world. Yeah. And he gave you another fucking belt. That's okay. It looks good on Just the Just what desk. you needed. I think that's going to be good. Is that in, in the picture? Go. That's pretty good. Okay, that works. Nice. Damn. Jaden, way to go, buddy. Good job. Thank you very much. That I'm, looks fantastic. It does look fantastic. That's not Will Smith's kid, is it? No. Oh. No, it's no. Jaden M. Yeah. That, yeah. Oh. Be careful. That's Jayden right. Jaden Smith, yeah. Wow, I'm I'm very impressed. Jaden M. Smith. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, it's not him. Uh, thank you very much, Jaden. We sincerely do appreciate it. And uh, yeah, if you guys have any great ideas to send us to our PO box, go for it. But uh, thank you very much to him. Uh, but where's this, the link for the PO box? Uh, the link for the PO box is in all of our bios, uh, either on YouTube, um, TikTok, everywhere. Uh, that has our PO uh, PO box address always in our bio for those. Uh, but this week's draft, uh, last week, uh, none of you guys were here. Uh, I was. So I went on technicality, even though I got dead last place. Uh, but that's normally As well how you should. I know. It's the way it works. Um, so I get the championship picks this week. Uh, Derek, you're on this show a lot more often. So you get the sandwich pick. And Jeremy, you Not get... Not by choice. I know. Okay. Okay. I am being held against my will. Correct. Uh, <laughs> Just so all of you know that out there. Jeremy gets the first pick of this week's draft. You've made it very clear during the break. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this week's draft is going to be the best inventions of all time. That That's a pretty wide open selection it's that very you've wide got. Open. So uh, we're going to kick this off with Mr. Jeremy Joseph. What is your first pick for the best invention of all time? Well, far and away, it's, you know, porn vision, a.k.a. the internet. The internet, yeah, that's a, that's a damn good one. Al Gore invented that. He did, did <laughs> not. <laughs> my uh, weak-ass left hand caught up to my right. <laughs> <laughs> I never, it's always nice and moisturized, too, mm -hmm. my left hand now. Yeah. Okay. My right hand's kind of rough and dry and cracked, but the left hand is so nice and moisturized. That's right. Uh, well, How would you know? I don't know. I'm just taking your word for it. Okay. Because well, you jerk them off all the time. That's Jeremy. exactly right. I notice. Uh, I, yeah. I, yeah, absolutely. I notice a, a good hand when I see one. Uh, Derek. <laughs> sure, sure you do. Yeah. I, I, I've always said that about you. Scotty can, he can spot a hand. I can. If, if you show Scotty a hand, a picture of a hand and something else, yeah. he can guess the hand I'm every fucking time. I'm actually a scout for those hand models. Only you know that, hands. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm only hands, dude. Come on, man. Okay. Uh, Derek, how about you, your first pick? Air conditioning. AC. Wow, that's good. I like it. Uh, Air conditioning Slater? Yeah. 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 <laughs> my, my favorite AC of all time. Uh huh. <laughs> well, shit, I guess I'm going to go with. Right the before air conditioning green. Mm hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, I'm going to go with the wheel. That's what I'm going to go with. Stayed a virgin until he got married. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with the fucking wheel. All right. Yeah. That helps us get around, at least uh, for the meantime. Uh, and then uh, the next one I'm going to get. Doo, 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 doo. I'm going to go with the battery. Okay. I like that one. That one's a good pick. Do you, the verb or the noun? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, if you get if you pick battery, your next pick has to be assault. <laughs> yeah, they go together. <laughs> okay. They sure do. <laughs> like peas and carrots, or at least <laughs> at least aggravation. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Wait, all right. The game, or yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, Derek, your next pick. Uh, I'm fat. I'm gonna go with the refrigerator. Refrigerator. I like that one, man. 
keeping it cool. I got a motive here. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know that they didn't have those uh, until like the, what was it, the 30s, I think, is whenever they were invented, I think. Uh, Jeremy Joseph, you get two, man. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So many good things out there. I know. They're all kinds. Um, I am going to go with gunpowder. Okay. Okay. All right. It's one of my favorite cheers. And <laughs> when you're drinking liquor and you do the cheer and you go to pussy and gunpowder. One brought me in this world. The other can take me out. And I love the smell of both of them. <laughs> nice. I like that one. Yeah. Pussy. Is, is that, can that be one no, of them? No, that I mean, if you're a religious person, God kind of did invent it. Um, yeah, but no. he's more of a daddy or okay. an interdimensional pixie, depending <laughs> on how you want to look at him. Hey, um, watch it there. Dude, <laughs> talk to these fucking, they're paranormal experts. I know they are. One of them is a witch. <laughs> oh, yeah. Another one is a honest to God, like fully educated demonologist. Right, I know. There's nothing in the world, by the way, that pisses me off more than something like that where they put ologist at the end of it right to make it sound legit uh-huh uh, okay. anyways um i am going to go i mean people are always comparing shit to it so sliced bread sliced bread Ooh, i like it all right all right derek next pick well neither of mine are going to work without electricity Okay. So I'm going to go with electricity. Uh, 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 because that's not an invention. That's not an invention. Nobody that, invented electricity. Correct. It's a result of a, what's going on in the nucleus of an, of an atom. Correct. Electric power? Is that, is that better? No, not really. Well, like the electric motor or, I mean. Oh, for crying kind of, out loud. I mean, Scotty already got the battery. I did. I so did. That's a way to store and use. Electricity. Just put phone charger. It's okay. All right. Well, then I'm going to go with. Uh, let's go with the smartphone. Okay. That's that was my pick. I shouldn't have even given you a hint, but you gave me electricity. No, no, motherfucker. I got the battery. <sighs> yeah, I was. You can't run a smartphone without a battery, especially with oh, Jeremy Joseph. I wanted this pick so badly, so badly, and I was so terrified of uh, of forgetting about it, and then. It came to me, and I'm going to go with the gun or firearm. Uh, so that would be uh, Mr. Samuel Colt. Thank you for that, because uh, he and made it all. I mean, he, he made his own style. That was basically the, the what, six-shooter? Guns and the were repeater. around so much before him. Even Muskets repeating, and stuff like that. I believe that, the volcanic arms was the uh, first repeating Was it really? Firearm, yeah. Okay. Which uh, I believe we're getting into... Uh, God damn it. Why can't Browning? John okay. Browning. Okay. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to take that one. And then I'm also going to say something that we use every single day. And that is going to be the automobile. That was where I was going to go next. Yeah. I, I had to, I work on them every fucking day. I, it's hard to forget about no, them. You don't, you send I talk, people I, to, I, I tell people, people to work, work on, on them. them. That's correct. Yeah, it's my <laughs> yeah. bad. I apologize. Uh, Derek. I'm going to go with the airplane. Okay, you can fucking have that shit. I hate those goddamn things. Jeremy doesn't That's why mind. I like them. I know. Uh, Jeremy? Uh, doggy style. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's a natural occurrence with animals. Oh, no. Somebody had to invent that. Somebody had to come up with the idea. <laughs> fucking was normal, but not nah. in that position. They just, somebody named it. I don't think anybody really invented it. I guess dogs. <laughs> dogs <laughs> kind of did. Are we really letting that one no, stop? We're not okay, letting fine. That go. I would have. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Uh, okay. That, I'll let him have Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's invented. Um, let's see. Uh, fuck. I don't know. Um, uh, I'm surprised. There's a lot of... Uh, Especially with you. I, I'm thinking one in particular that I'm surprised you didn't fucking pick. Consider your fucking t-shirt, jackass. They didn't really invent anything, did they? Yeah, kind of, sort of. Yeah, okay, the microwave oven. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I dry this shirt. <laughs> okay. All right, and then you get your last pick. Mm. Damn, I'm going to go with the phonograph. Phonograph? Phonograph or photograph? Phono. Okay. Sound. <clears throat> I don't All care. Right. Remember, I don't like the way I look. True. Love the way I sound. I was just waiting for you to bust out some Def Lep. 
you know. <coughs> Def Lep? Yeah, Def uh-huh. Lep. What's that? The Def Leopard. Oh, yeah. I, I thought that was like photograph. one of those. Deformities. I just, I just, I just, no, I just cut off the very like, end of it, kind of like he's missing an arm. So, and then didn't, uh, yeah, Nickelback saying what? phonograph. <laughs> look at, look at <laughs> this phonograph. phonograph. <laughs> And it's just them mm-hmm. <laughs> just rolling the wheel. Absolutely, just cranking a Wurlitzer. <laughs> That's it, man. Heck yeah, that's good shit. Oh, <laughs> God damn it! All right, Derek, your final pick. I'm between two. Okay. Do just I say go, a whoopee cushion. Do I go light bulb or flashlight? Ooh, I'm gonna go light bulb. Light bulb. Okay, that's a good one. I I like that one. Uh, mine is oh, fuck. Uh, no, I'm not going to take it. I'll, I'll talk about it, but I'm not going to take because that's not true. Um, I am going to go. Do I want to be philosophical here? Yeah, I'll go with it. I am going to go, go with the guy who invented philosophy. Yeah, I'm going to go. Uh, I'm going to go with the fountain pen. Without pens, we would not have very important documents. We could write it in pencil. Yeah, Scotty. Sure. Fucks with you. Scratching on trees and shit. I mean, we could. Uh, but no, I think I think pens are pretty goddamn. They're mightier than the sword. Man. Paper would have been a good one, too. Uh, I, I have TV. a fucking I sword, TV. and I would like to <laughs> test this with you. You get your pen, <laughs> and I'll get my sword, and we'll just see what happens. Yeah, you know what they say. You can't bring a pen to a sword fight, Scott. That's true. You can't. Uh, but no, one of my honorable mentions. You can. <laughs> you, you should yeah. also bring a sword. That's I'll what they say. Be, yeah. I'll tell you what. If his sword fighting is anything like his pitching, I got you on the pen. No kidding, right? Yeah, I got Scotty with the pen on this one. Thank you, buddy. Uh, but no, I was going to pick. I actually was going to pick this. You've never seen me sword fight. This is, <laughs> well, I live. That, that one time when we had to share the toilet at the bar. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, and how straight was that X? Honestly. <laughs> Fucking straight. <laughs> Uh, but no, I, the one I was going to pick, I was going to actually pick the, uh, the atom bomb. Uh, and the only reason why I, I it's a crazy invention, but it, it controls. Cause you don't like Jeremy's wife. No, <laughs> no, that's not why. Uh, but no, the, the new movie that's He's coming not out. wrong. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> No, I'm really excited to go see the new movie Oppenheimer, but I actually know a lot about the 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 whole story of creating that, and I'm very excited to see it. I want to know how uh, historically accurate that movie is going to be. I assume it's going to be pretty close. <laughs> you weren't there. I wasn't, but I no, I've done like a, lo- he a lot of research. It. Huh? Ever since he did it, he regretted it. Yes, he did. Uh, he, what what was the actual quote that he said? Do you remember? Well, it's he quoted the uh, Hindu Bible. I am death. I am. I am. Death, the destroyer of worlds. Uh, that one. I am become death, the destroyer. There of worlds. you go. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that was that was one. Anything but- else? It's weird that in order to, <clears throat> it was initially in. You know, they wanted it to keep the Nazis in check, and they went with a guy named Oppenheimer. <laughs> yeah. The oh. most Nazi sounding fucking name <laughs> ever. A lot of scientists we actually got from them, but that's what's yes. I, yeah. Operation Paperclip, Scotty. That's correct. So we got uh, Warner Von Braun and the fucking rockets. Yep, that's right. However, uh, not it was after World War II. Uh, yeah, the, this was our Von Braun was ma- Oppenheimer. Mainly NASA. Yes, yeah, I, I, know, I know who Von Braun was, but Oppenheimer had nothing to do with that. He, no, no, that was like the f- late fifties or, or, or mid fifties. No, for it's what it's what uh, won World War II. Oppenheimer was involved with it. He invented the fucking atomic bomb that they dropped on I'm Japan. I'm not Oppenheimer. I'm sorry. Von Braun is who I was thinking of. I'm sorry. He, he, was, was, he was in he the was 50s. He was directly after World yeah. War II. So they, anyway, my bad. Uh, any of the other uh, honorable mentions that you guys had? Oh. Pa- paper was one. Most, uh-huh. most things are probably pretty good. Uh, vaccines? Yeah. Um, uh, most of them. Thank you. Uh, but like anyways. Polio, that was a bad That was a, Yeah, that was a big one. Um, but yeah. So there's a whole bunch of great inventions, uh, but uh, butter. these peanut are peanut butter. butter. That's a damn good one. Jelly, right? Nope, just peanut butter. Okay, mm-hmm. that's fine. Uh, but anyways, I like dry mouth. you can go to facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines and uh, to uh, Twitter, which is at LOT sidelines and vote for the list that you think has the best inventions and uh, let us know which inventions you would have selected. Uh, but now we get to get on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Legos. That's right, Scotty. Uh, apologies for this. I do not have my reading glasses, so this could be a little rough going here. Uh, but on December 10th, 1958, two members of the Fountain of the World cult out of uh, Simi Valley, California, went to confront the cult leader, a guy named Krishna Vinta. I'm sure he changed his name to that. Uh -huh. uh, apparently, they had decided that letting him have all their money and fuck, his, fuck their wives uh, was not going to lead to their eternal salvation. Uh, side note on this, um, while they did feel all this about the leader and that he was using them, uh, they never did admit that he was not the second coming of Jesus Christ, by oh. the way. Uh, so, you know, they're still... Smart guys. Yeah. And um, when they went to confront him about this and uh, basically say, hey, give us our wives and our shit back, uh, I'm guessing he refused to. And that turned out to be a mistake. And because uh, out in the truck just parked right outside the building was a remote controlled homemade bomb consisting of three detonators, eight blasting caps, and 12 full sticks of fucking dynamite. Jesus. Uh at around 10.58 p.m., uh, somebody heard a fucking blast, and not only did these two guys take themselves out and the leader, but also seven other cult members, uh, leading me to wonder if this was really such a tragedy. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, ensuing police investigation was really kind of a bitch because when they would ask people, you know, where, where's the leader, this uh, Vina Krishna or Krishna Vinta, um, they were, oh, he's everywhere. <laughs> oh, nice. They believed he had just ascended to heaven and now is everywhere. Well, there's probably some of them here, some of them there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. He, he kind of was I mean, they're, they're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but they're not right either <laughs> about a lot of things. And now your child can recreate the magic of this moment using nothing but a little imagination and Legos. Legos. Hey, kids, don't play with blasting caps. <laughs> Oh, that's Willie great. Willie Mays, right there. That's right. That was his uh, public service announcement, telling there. kids not to play with blasting caps. Very good. That was a real fucking thing. That's on YouTube. Look it up. Okay, fair enough. Look uh, it up, Scotty. I'm looking it up right now, Jeremy. Uh, all right. Not really. Uh, but anyways, this week's... Why would you lie? I'm just... I don't know. That's what I do. Uh, but this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation is, would you rather... You are going to be a X-Men, and would you rather have the superpower of being able to determine who farts, or every time you're around animals, you make them very horny? Okay, are you an X-Man as with that power too? I mean X-Person, but yes. Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> right. X-Man. When did we get PC on this? <laughs> Never. <laughs> you're an X-Man, motherfucker. With the ability to make... Animals horny, too. No, they just are horny. You are the distraction around animals because they are attracted to you. Oh, they're, no, no, they're, they're just oh, horny. They're just horny? They yeah. just start oh, fucking. They, they start they fucking? Horny. It's, it's oh. basically either Derek's wife's power or Derek's power at the zoo. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I do have that power at the this zoo. Is the, this is the Derek X-Man is basically seen, what we I've are. seen multiple. <laughs> <laughs> I like to think I witnessed a couple of babies being conceived. It's, this Good is for you. the amen, the older uh, Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my wife's superpower and my superpower. Uh -huh. Who would you like? That's why Christians say it at the end of every prayer. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's that's, that's for right. you. That's yeah. for you. <laughs> and, and for some reason, whoever what is it, Professor Professor Xavier? Yeah. Considers you an absolutely vital member of the team. <laughs> <laughs> Like when he's picking which ones need to go fight a situation, you're first. You're the first pick. They're well, like Cyclops obvious, hang back. Obviously, we're taking him. Yeah. <laughs> who, who else? What's your costume look like? It depends on <laughs> which on one you choose. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's fine. Uh, I, man, I don't know. I don't know if I want to see animals fucking, and I, but I don't want to be able to determine who farts, but I think that one would be more fun. To be able to stop the fight and be like, nope, you farted and call you out. I think that's the one I'm going to take. I think that would be a, a little bit more fun. And uh, fuck, you could blame it on everybody <laughs> if, you, if you did it. That's kind of mine. Okay. Derek? I'm going to go with the animals. Okay. Because uh, it is hilarious at the zoo. <laughs> Especially whenever we were at the Animal Kingdom in Disney and there two elephants were going at it. And the mom, the little kid, like two rows behind us goes, 
Mommy, they're fighting. <laughs> I was like, yeah, they're fighting all right. <laughs> I was like, hey, honey, you want to go fight in a hotel later? <laughs> Prison style. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I would fucking totally go whenever it's like field trip day, and I would just follow all the kids around to all the exhibits. Of course you would. Yeah, absolutely, and just let them watch animals fuck. Of course you would. And let the teacher explain what's going on. Oh, yeah. I would totally do that. I'm sure you would, you fucking creep show. And it would make hunting easy. It would. <laughs> 100%. I mean, and if you and if you got to go out, you might as well yeah. go out fucking. It'd make hunting easy and fishing very difficult. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, all well, right. I'd make animals do it that don't normally do it. <laughs> oh, yeah? Like what? Sloths. Oh. <laughs> yeah, sparrows and squirrels. I mean. <laughs> Screaming goats. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 Jeremy, how about you? Um. Okay, now with this. I, I have questions here. There's so many questions. Okay, okay. This is a oh, very God, nuanced imagine, thing. Imagine petting zoos. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's kind of what I was thinking. <laughs> I was going to say, okay, with that power to make animals horny, mm -hmm. can you, like, directionalize it? Like, okay, now you guys fuck, or does it just radiate off of you mm -hmm. at all times and you have no control over it? Radiate. Yeah, yeah just if radiate. If you're around, radiate. animals are fucking. That's yep, right. That's it. Radiate. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with that one. <laughs> okay. I just feel like you can have more fun. Like, like there's no pleasantness ever. You don't get it. I mean, I guess you do get a laugh out of knowing when somebody farts. But, <laughs> but then you got to be in it. And you're still in a fucking fight. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think. And... and I, I don't believe, and, and I'm a realist here, I don't believe you go, hey, everybody stop, he farted. However, <laughs> if there's a brawl going and there's animals fucking in the background, everybody will stop. <laughs> Think and, of the species and, you could create. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of pointing. <laughs> The distractions just, are infinite. Just some guy getting punched in the fucking head. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> They're fucking. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. Ladies and gentlemen, that is this week's episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. Guys, uh, I know you hate me, but I love you guys, and I love mm -hmm. having the original crew back uh, every once in a while. It's a lot of fun, and I know the listeners really do appreciate it as well. Jeremy Joseph. Probably not going to appreciate the time factor. Right, no, nah, nah, the longer the better, I've, I've found. But uh, I can honestly say, even though you uh, you were very embarrassed uh, that you spiked a uh, ceremonial I first pitch. I didn't spike it. Yeah, I close. more skipped it like a rock. Cut it. Cut it actually, <laughs> to be honest with you, when I first threw it, I thought it like hit halfway to the catcher it made it at least to the dirt around home plate no it was the grass it didn't quite hit no the it dirt. hit the fucking dirt it i saw the video i saw my huge ass and i saw the ball <laughs> hit the dirt <laughs> it wasn't the dirt it was the grass right in front of the dirt it but that's okay it? no uh, but anyways uh without you doing that uh my whole entire week would be absolutely boring and thank you very much derek i know you've got a busy schedule coming up uh the latter half of the season i know you've got uh back-to-back -back weeks of <laughs> doing the announcing that's right and it was actually kind of cool seeing a lot of the comments of people that was like it was really cool to see does this hear animal all horny you. thing work on mascots <laughs> why not jeremy now that would be great because like is, is the philly fanatic considered an animal fuck yeah he is. i'd like to see him and like slugger going at it <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> i don't even know who's the top there oh uh, shit well thank you guys very very much uh do keep your eyes peeled i know that uh our buddy mike baldwin he's been on the show quite often i know his special is coming up in kansas city here pretty quick if i remember correctly June six i believe so that's the anniversary of my triple play gotcha and uh <laughs> it's in kansas city it's that weekend so go and uh check <laughs> him out if you are in the kansas city area uh but uh i don't think we have any uh comedy shows coming up do you? oh no derek does yeah i do in july in july and we'll yeah. get more information on that uh by the next episode he's on here so but anyways guys thank you guys so much we appreciate it keep on doing us a favor and liking our tiktoks and sharing those with your friends that's how we grow this show and as we always like to say guys if you like us do us a favor and tell your friends but if you don't like us uh we hope you're trying to merge onto the highway at 30 mi 35 miles per hour but nobody will let you in because you're a dumb fucking idiot so you smash head first into a goddamn bridge embankment. <laughs> if you don't like us, and tell your enemies. And until next time, guys, you're in good hands. <laughs> until next time. Keep laughing, asshole. Wow. <laughs> we will see y'all later. Take care.